All right, close enough. Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I already asked him to trade. All right. It's perfect. Oh, yeah, Vigor, 18. No, Vigor's level 12, right? Or is it 18? Yeah, no, cleansing is 12. I think it's 18. Vigor is 18. All right, regardless, you are going to, yeah, I don't know, brain fart. Um, you're going to do that. So, yeah, so stick together, get to the Den of Evil. Everybody going except the Paladin, who's going to move forward. Yeah, um, yeah you guys really shouldn't be killing stuff, uh, that much stuff at all. Like, Druid, you should be in that Den of Evil right now and not killing things. Also, you're still wearing a buckler, which... No bucklers. Okay. And then Paladin, yep, you go forward. Exactly. Where's my assassin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Paladin, you'll kill some things here. Make sure you get level 2 before the Cold Plains. That really helps a lot. Otherwise, it's, like, just bad. And then put your first point into Midora as well. Oh, good point. Um, make sure you press T for tree and S for skills. Be, be using hotkeys. We don't want to be um, doing silly things with clicking stuff we don't need to be. Yep, and then hotkey might to, uh, you know, some key or whatever. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Group one, yep, perfect. And assassin, you'll want to get a dagger. So the first dagger that the team finds, give to the assassin. Um, that's going to help you out a lot. Okay. Just because that'll increase your um, speed. Mm hmm. Okay. And kill Join that. Now remember our what map. Think I'm in the figure. corner. Yep, you're in the corner. Don't yeah. go in there. Don't go in, the in there. Don't go in there. Yep. Yeah. You don't need to even yeah, do yeah. that, right? You see yourself in the corner. Sorry, guys. Reset. <laughs> yeah. You're good. You're good. Just first run. Yeah. So you see yourself in that corner. You don't even need to. Like, that path way earlier, you could already tell, was leading you to the corner. Yeah. Right. So You, you got a dagger. You didn't need to do that. Also, at this point, you're walking but not regening stamina. Take one pause and then start walking. Exactly. And now you'll regen stamina while you walk. No, I don't have the dagger yet. Hit that fire shrine, right it's actually really good. Because now you can kill some of those things because they're a lot weaker. If you wanted. Okay, you've moved on. Okay, That's fine. Sense, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so fire shrine's gonna weaken everything. That's gonna be really helpful for you. Okay, looks like the den of evil. We've missed a monster. That's that's a normal thing. <laughs> So split up, go find it. Yep. Okay, cool. You got it. Go back to town. Yeah, done. Okay. Who's got the TP? There you go. Okay, go sell everything. Make sure you get a few stamina potions. Oh, I got and then this mana. stuff. Okay. Uh, and if people need uh, gold, what about talk gems? about it. Uh, should I give... Uh... What about gems? Should I give it to Martin or uh, or sell? So right now, if you need gold, go ahead and sell the gems. Otherwise, you can hold on to them for some future gold. Um, don't bother identifying that short bow. It's not worth it. It looks like the sorceress is going to need a little bit of gold. Also, feel free to sell those gloves. Yeah, they're okay gloves, but right now... Like, those are actually really good gloves. But right now, I mean, they're just like, who cares, right? It's such a basic thing. Get some oh, my stamina, TP is not safe, by the way. Get some mana potions and a couple stamina. Um, and everybody go right now to the Paladin. 
You have my TP and go 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 go. There's this hole like a pack there, one or two. It's fine. And there's stones and there's like a way down also. Mm -hmm. If you go where I am. Okay, perfect. Everybody is in. Make sure we're we're all fighting the boss together. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll definitely have to work on our shopping, um, as shopping speed is important. Other things that are that we kind of want to note about that is spending time looking at basic items that don't really need to be looked at, right? Like those leather gloves, you know, just put them on. Like they're better than nothing. Or if you have no gold, just sell them. Either way, they're such an early item. You're not going to get more than five resistance, you know, per resistance okay. on them, things Got like it. that. So it's like, yeah, why, why spend the time, you know, like deliberating about it? It's, it's not important of a decision. Someone needs uh, a dagger. I just found yeah, a dagger. Yeah, ass assassin. So I drop I'm TP and we go further, right? Correct. So, yep. Drop a TP and then continue I'll go, forward. Wait. I'll go down to sell stuff. No, you uh, just keep going. No, I don't. Oh, you, already, you already had a dagger. <laughs> um, God damn it. Oh, okay. You've already gone back to town there. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, you can. It's it's not a huge oh, important thing. Oh, I have thing. a perfect item for sorcerers. Oh, perfect. Charge bolt, yeah. Okay, so I'll keep that. Yeah. And then, yep, get some stamina, things like that. But yeah, see, you can see at this point that you're kind of missing some experience. So going to town to shop there, not quite as important. Bad idea. Uh, yeah, exactly. And can the assassin or druid give a TP for the... Paladin. We have a delay, so like every time you give me a good idea, I'm already doing a bad thing. <laughs> Perfect. It works. Okay, and where's the sorceress? David, I have a, I have an orb for you. I'll drop it here. Eagle orb. Perfect. Get the charge bolt. Yep, and then just toss that. Perfect. Yeah, so remember, starting items are worth one gold, so not worth keeping if you are making that decision. Wait, so we need to go left from uh, from this square, so we're... You need to go right from the entrance in the underground passage. Well, you want to go what? straight across, so... Oh, yes, yeah, straight across. Yes, but here so you're going to look at straight like... across or right at the way you came in. So here, obviously, you're going to be going this way. Assassin, you're spending too much time killing stuff that doesn't matter. Um, so, you know, you just want to be focusing on moving Oops. forward, helping the group. See, like, they right, they right, need you, you there with their damage a little bit, right? You're, you're, you're a very key part of all of that. And so if you're kind of lagging behind killing unimportant things, it, it, it hurts the team a lot. But it's okay. Okay, so yeah, help kill that boss group. Um, and now we're doing more shopping. So this is, you know, where like we want to make sure that we're not all split up, right? Like the shopping should have all been done at that one point together. Instead, we've had the druid go back to shop, the paladin go back to shop, right? Like we keep going back um, and shopping individually. So. We just got to, when we're all there, shop. And then once again, if somebody needs gold, say, I need gold. And then the person who picked up, you know, a couple throwing knives or an amulet or a jewel or whatever can drop some. And then you just want to be getting enough mana and stamina potions that you're not going to have to do that, right? So always be working to go down to that straight across. So, yep. But also remember that we haven't found the kickoff yet to the left. So we don't want to go up this way, right? You guys are heading towards the cave right now. Oh. Because we didn't find that. So we want to, we hit a T. And so we want to go to the right of the way we came in whenever we hit a T. And now if you go right above you, you should have the exit. 
most likely. So just go the other way around. I mean, you can circle around it. That's fine. But that's the, <laughs> that's the like tile that's going to have the exit right there. Yeah. So when you get to that tile, you want to do that little checkup. Okay. So now everybody find the dark wood. Yep. So now we're in two teams, right? No, we're still still one. We're going to right? Yeah, yeah. we're going to split very shortly here. Kind of spread out though, looking for the tree. Um, you're all kind of following together, and you're following on the path. Obviously, remember that the tree cannot be on the path. So, uh, you know, you want to be spreading and kind of spreading in your teams because if you do find a nice boss or whatever it is. Mine. So, you know, you want the source and assassin to kind of be together. And we have the tree over on the assassin. So everybody. I got the right. boss group behind me. Okay, drag it over. So pro. Perfect. Okay. Uh, a paladin is stacking on vitality, right? Yeah. Like only. Yeah. I mean, he'll get some strength later on to wear like different paladin shields if you find a good one. But um, go ahead and get some mana and stuff, assassin. I don't know how much you have. If you're out, let people know that you're out because yeah. you're worth a lot of damage. Don't go to town and shop for it. Just tell people. Just say, hey, I need some mana. And then like your druid and your assassin. Hey, I have something. Exactly. I'll drop here. Right. So he's already gone to town. So like at this point, right. like. I'll this is this is what I'm saying. We can't keep going to town over and over and over again, right? We need to, we need to have that. Uh, Druid use Firestorm against brutes because it crashes on them. The boulder it doesn't push them or go through them. It's not as effective. Firestorm goes through them and does a lot more damage. So you'll learn well which hit. you'll learn which monsters push and which monsters it hits and crashes immediately. So like Tainted, it also does that. Um, so you want to use Firestorm against those monsters. Um, so now we need half, one group needs to go back to the source's TP. So make sure source doesn't drop the TP. Assassin, drop a TP. You guys go back and do Tristram. Here's a boss group. So first kill that boss group with everybody. And then Assassin, drop a TP and go back. Carl, are you coming? Do Tristram. So now we're um, where Split. where the hell are we? Black Marsh. So uh, so me and a druid, like so for part and a druid are looking for something here now. Way, like waypoint uh, are and looking tower. For a tower. Waypoint and tower. You All need right. to make sure you get waypoint as well. Um, hey Carol, I go left. Oh I found a tower. Sorceress, That's go steel. go right now to Tristram. Stop killing I recognize crap. the tile. Thank you, James. Yeah. You guys are spending too much time killing like single monsters that mean nothing. No 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 sorceress, go to town, go to town, go to town. Go to town, but don't drop a TP. Yeah, you need okay, to. Yeah, you. yeah, you need to go to town and immediately go over to Tristram. So go talk to Akara, whoever needed to do that with the scroll, and then go to the. Oh source shit! TP. I have a scroll. That's fine, as long as. Wait, guys, I'll open it. Yeah, you should be okay. So do they need a scroll or not? Um, no, sorceress. You should identify Wait, I'll charms I'll... before you sell them. One, it could be a really good charm that you want to keep, but additionally just worth more gold. Okay. Okay, and now go grab the scroll, and Assassin, can you start touching stones? See if it'll work. See if anything's lighting up. If not, then grab that. Okay, Sorceress, go grab the... There's a scroll on the ground in town. Druid, also drop your shield. We don't like shields. There's a scroll. No, no, right by the, the TPs. There's a scroll. Go grab that. Oh, we have a we have a TP. So kind of, so now we go push forward and we go for uh, the tower. Right. So now yes, there you go. Source tower. tower? Yeah. So now go ahead. Okay. And check their stones. The tower. Also drop a TP Carol, at the on. drop a TP at the Black Marsh Waypoint, or near it, so that Gosh. somebody right. so that they can do it. And then we'll yep, go to the Stony Field. Yes, Stony Field, and you're doing Tristram now, Sorceress. And me and Druid, like Druid and Paladin, are going to the tower now, right? Correct. Um, so you don't need okay. to guess which one it is. You can physically right-click on the scroll in your inventory, and it'll tell you. 
So just keep it open and then touch all of them in the order it says. Yeah. It's nope, nope, nope. Two, three. Look at the three. There you go. <laughs> Follow the order. Dang, let's go. <laughs> oh shit. We'll work on our reading skills, I guess, later. Um okay, so now you two do so, twist and together. We do it. And the other team all together, time. right? Perfect. No 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 no. Just in your teams. In your teams. No, just team one. Okay. Yeah. So save Come on, Carol, let's kill this pack. I think it's experience. Yeah. Always kill the packs. Nice. Always kill the, the boss groups. Okay, so team one, yep, you'd be killing those boss groups. Assassin, you're just killing random stuff. Stop hitting with your dagger. Like, never melee. Oh, you're, you're not a melee character at all. You're a traps in, and you need to be using your traps for everything. Okay, kill that stuff. Sorceress, you should also be really looking at static field right now. That's going to be a big benefit to you. Um, so, Frost Nova and static field, right? You're, you're doing too much charge bolt. Do Frost Nova static field instead. And when you static field, you're going to have to be close to stuff. Don't worry about Griswold. He's, he's not worth a ton. Um, but your goal is to basically frost and static some stuff and then let the assassin burn through them with her traps. Go ahead and move up and go get the cane and then go get that champion boss group in the middle here. There you go. It's a nice shaman group. Perfect. So frost Nova Martin, here. give me TP. Carol, if I give you TP, I will drop the TP on. But I will give you TP because you're my friend. Oh, thanks. Oh, shit. I don't have any TPs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm level 5 tower. I'll farm for TP. Okay. Druid, please oh, drop that shield. Mistake. Please. Thank you. There you go. Now you can use a little bit of charge. Perfect. Let's kill. Exactly. And grab that stuff. I got Perfect. some. Okay. And now. There you go. Good teamwork. Better. Now go get Wurt's leg. And then you guys can go to the tower. My TP is on the waypoint for Black Mark. Go get Wurt's leg. Go get Wurt's leg. Go get Wurt's leg. You guys didn't get Wurt's leg. Okay, I'm on. <laughs> okay. Remember, we, we want to do cows later. Okay, grab that. We don't need to. Once again, like oh, I have a, a lot TP. of whatever stuff. I mean, there is there's five. enough of a group right there that you can start killing some of these things. But Frost Nova, Frost Nova. Whenever there's a bunch, a big group not cold around, Frost Nova. An assassin, you need to just drink a mana potion and start killing. You're just like running around right now, but you're not doing anything we need you to be doing the damage remember you're the damage dealer here took the leg yep okay yep right. and go to town and now join up in the tower holy fire. My. am i using holy fire i'm using holy fire boom there you go oh, oh, oh. Power now here. yeah everybody in the tower go 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 remember we want to start killing the minions we're going to go ahead and have the sorceress be the final killer um of this Sorceress, put those points into static field. I see a lot of skill points and stat points unused right now. Put all of them in static field. You're good to go. There you go. Um, hey, get the, in there. Count the Countess is here. Yep. So go ahead, do some Frost Nova, do some damage, kill those minions. And then when we get her down a little bit, everybody leave the game. Except the Sorceress. Okay. Okay, and sorceress, that's your job to kill. So Frost Wait, Nova so we're her go, and then go static. To the new game now. Yes, Frost Novas, Frost Nova, and static. I'll make a new one. And that's your that's your your game is is Frost Nova static. Perfect. The game name is new game. Okay, and then charge bolter for the final bit. Frost Nova and charge bolt. Oh boy. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, we've That's bad. That's not great. Okay. Um move move on. Move on. Next game. That's fine. Next game. Next game? Oh, there's yeah, you yep. don't have a TP. It's called Next new game. game. That's fine. We got no runes. Countess didn't drop any runes. One in sixty four chance. <laughs> 
I mean, what the hell? We left you there. Happens. Okay, so everybody, oh, yep, get in the next game there. Assassin. I don't know why you left the game. Okay. Um, all right. So go ahead. Yes, when you come in, shop, and then immediately be going and trying to move forward. You need gold sorceress, so sell that. Just sell that ring. Like I say, it's a it's a nice ring, but like you need some gold. Um, get a bunch of potions, right? Stock up. Get fill half your inventory with potions. Everybody here is like saving way too much inventory space. They need to just get potions. You should have at least half of your inventory, if not more, stuffed with potions. Good point. Okay, right, so I left you guys at the at the at the white point. Okay. For the for the black marsh. Perfect. Okay, so go to that waypoint. That's fine. Go, go, go. Also, if anybody ever finds FCR gear, give it to the sorceress. You're looking to get every ring and amulet with that, of the apprentice to the sorceress. I don't care if you need gold. You give that gear over to the sorceress. Um, it looks like we have a minion group right over here. Yeah. Uh, but that's fine. It's cold archers and just kind of run away. Uh, on so wait, are we running forward or are we are we running to the next uh, druid and so should paladin? i run for example to druid and paladin my team uh druid okay drive. i got oh, yeah. the tower yeah so okay Ass assassin and sorceress doing tower druid and paladin moving forward and a druid it looks like you grabbed an experience so Karo, you should be out and you should that. give me the yeah hold on druid you're supposed to give all Tyler, experience why, why are you to not the sorceress. with me yeah, and Druid, you need to be Carol. Go join uh, the the Paladin. Wait, I'll open you a TP. Wait. A gift for you. Thanks my, for all great my content. My TP for the white point. Particularly the play alongs. And now I know from our lesson that I'm supposed to go forward now. Mm -hmm. So here you're not always looking immediate. Like you, you want to get boss groups as well. So feel free to explore a little bit more of the tower um, because getting experience is still really important and nice here. So hey, wait, Barak. You know, where do I go? Feel, feel free to look Left. a little bit further and try and find a boss. You're going to get a boss group a majority of the time, one boss group per level, right? And so it's worth it to go take five extra seconds to get that experience right now. Okay, perfect. And then give updates where you're at, how things are going, all of that stuff. So the team just has to move to tower level four. Okay, are so you, slow? you guys are going to aim for just getting that um, jail level one waypoint, right? So go go try and get that. And so that where was left, it? Left of the way you've come in. Oh shit! So means so, up. Yes. So top right on your screen, but yeah, so you want to be whenever they're, you know, getting into level four, things like that, you want to be doing that stuff. And yes, source should get all experience shrines. That is true. Um, yeah, so look around. And so they've, entered, they've entered five. level five. Perfect. So go ahead and Druid and Paladin just start the next game. Shop if you need to, Wait, whatever. What? But, but you can, oh, you okay. can start Makes the next sense. game now because you have that waypoint. And then go to the waypoint and start moving forward. And your goal is to get to the inner cloister um, by the next one. Okay, and Assassin, okay, new leave game the game. Too. Paladin, leave the game. P Countess is dying, and Assassin, please leave before she dies. Assassin, leave the game, please. D too late. All right. So you got to get out, right? <laughs> you, you, there's no reason to stick around right there. We got Tal Eld. That's nice. So we have the Tal rune. We just need the Eth rune.
Right, so everybody needs to be out of that game I could at not... that time. Yeah, and I had no one in the party screen, so I thought I'm alone. No, the sorceress is always going to be the one there finishing off. Okay, so just okay, sell, like, don't, uh... don't look at a necro, right? Necro head, who cares? Sell that immediately. There's no reason yeah, I... to look at that. Um, get rid of the Eld Rune, get rid of the Fulminating Potions, keep the Tal Rune, get your potions. You should be off this shopping screen, like, already, right? Okay, party up. Yep, there we go. And, yeah, Assassin, start looking for that tower. God damn. And Sorceress, go the opposite way. Go the opposite way of the assassin. Yeah. So just spread out when you're looking. That's fine. And then if you find like a nice boss group, okay, assassin's got tower. So assassin, drop a TP. Sorceress, drop a TP. Go home and go join up. Yep. Perfect. I delivered three. Assassin. So now left, Carol. So yeah. Three is left. Perfect. So that's my tile. It's going like this. So I go left. Wow, it, it really works. That's Not that I'm surprised. <laughs> that is true. Uh, I think you have a boss group there. Kill, kill those champions, Paladin. You're, you're kind of running away. That's a super good group right there. Also, now you have a Holy Trace group as well. <laughs> So you're like running ahead. You need to be letting. You need to be more with your druid and like killing those things together, right? Like there was no reason to bolt ahead of that super nice champion group, and then also when you had that holy freeze group, why are you trying Carol, to fight give that me by yourself? Right, like you shouldn't be fighting that by yourself. You should be your druid is your damage. So, druid, do me do me a damage. Okay, do we have level twelve yet? Eight here. Eight? Oh, okay, we're only eight. All right, sorry. I thought we were higher. Carl, like, let's kill this pack. Give my damage. I'll tank them. Using nothing but my raw skill. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You got a full row of potions, man. You got to drink your potions. It's a fair point. I I killed him. No worries. Like, there you go. Druid was not helping at all. Also, you have a shield on Paladin. Feel free to drop that bad boy. Why Why are you telling us to drop the shield? Because blocking <laughs> right now is annoying. It's it's just going to put you into to uh... block recovery, basically. Okay. Yep, so help each other get the bodies, kill some stuff, do all of that. Yeah, there, you have a boss group over here, Sorceress, go Frost Nova, that group. Oh boy. Yeah, make sure, make sure you're getting all that experience. And when you fill your belt, don't fill it four mana potions or four health potions or what, right? Like, make sure, unless you're like the paladin, you can fill it for health. But, like, the other the other people fill it, you know, two and two or one and three or whatever it is. When you fill it all max, like, three. mana potions, three, then you right. end up running around with no health for a bunch of time because you're like, oh, I don't, I don't have any health potions in my belt. Okay, Inner Cloister, you guys have it. They're at level four, basically. Um, I would go ahead and just so Carlos, go to the we, next make, game. we make a new game. Yeah, I would just yeah. go. I would just go new game at this point. Carol, create one. I'll just join. So now you guys just rush ahead to Countess because you want to get to that next one. Obviously, if you see a boss yeah. group on the way, that's fine. But you know, just kind of get there. Okay, there's the boss group right there. Perfect. Nice. Good job, Source. Nice static and Frost Nova there. 
That's exactly how that should go, right? Every boss group should be as easy as that. You run in, you Frost Nova, you static while the Fire Blasts are coming down, and you're good to go. Also, if you have a two open socket armor, give it to the Sorceress. And then, like, other ones, you want to keep those as well, right? Assassin, get out of the game. Perfect. And just, just kill, just kill, yeah. All right, we got uh, Ith rune. I didn't see the second rune. I don't think it was Eth, though. Tal. Tal, okay. So, yep, go to the next game. Perfect. Get your potions. Make sure you get some health Invite. and mana. And go from there. So now, level 11. I got Frost Nova. Five in static. Yep, so go ahead and... Should I go in. more in static? Sure, keep pumping static. It's just a wider range, right? Okay, 10 to life. No, keep that 10 to life small charm. Or, or large charm. Yeah, oh. yeah, you want that. Anything plus to life is going to be super helpful. So all life charms and life rings, belts, gloves, uh, all those things... Keep that stuff. You can sell that Ith and Eldrune, and that'll be gold for you. Also, you need to use the shift button, Sorceress, for putting potions in your belt. Sell Ith, yep. Keep the towels. Get your mana potions and go from there. And then, yep, grab the wand, grab the charm, drop that crossbow. Um, Another TP? Yeah, druid. So that yeah, would be, obviously, now don't go back. But, like, grabbing charms is always good because, once again, you can get things that are, like, 12 faster hit recovery, 30 to, to fire res, plus 20 to life, whatever it is. And those things are really helpful for your sorceress. Okay. Just keep going. Make sure you all get to 25 strength. And... Go for the champion. Or... Okay, I found it, Carol. Okay, so just My drop TP a TP. Just two. drop a TP. Yep, exactly. Like, town portals are going to be your guys' way of getting to each other very quickly, so... Yeah, make sure there's not, unless it's close enough that you know if you just run there, it'll be faster, right? Catacombs level two, you'll run clockwise, yes. Or, you know, as we described it better, not always clockwise, but the X So we're on level oh, three. I have a title. I want to help me level up. So right now you you guys are running kind of the opposite way in Cata level two. You're running counterclockwise. Oh shit. So it's fine. I mean you've already kind of run a little bit of it, but just be aware, right, that you want to be going that clockwise direction because we know that level two to three is going to be um, what it'll be. Okay, drop a TP for your teammate. Perfect. Okay, nice group right there. And you can already see the range of your static is just like getting ridiculous now, right? So you don't have to be in dangerous territory anymore. Instead, you can just yep. run around. It was that. Okay, Carol, so we're doing a wrong thing here, aside of killing this stuff that's good. Mm -hmm. We're running me. in the wrong direction. Can you coach us yes. in bad jokes as well? You guys are masters of that, Fortnite. Um, so. Okay, so we're in level five. That's okay at this point. Just don't, nobody quit the game, okay? Everybody go together unless they run into the waypoint here. So if you somehow run into the Cata level two waypoint, then like... You can do one more of that, but otherwise, just go together. So we just, but do we kill her or not right now? Yeah, just kill the Countess and then go join up with the team. 
So everybody stay in the game here. <laughs> okay, and we got a Rauru. Okay, so we don't have our stealth, which is going to be a little annoying for the sorceress. That's just life. Okay, everybody go to town. For sure, I fail. Oh, shit, error. Yeah. Carol, did you open TP? Yes, but it's not safe. So that's tainted. So remember on tainted, use Firestorm if you don't have Fissure yet. And then everybody go join up in that TP. Everybody go join up in that TP and, and help kill stuff now. So you guys should all be in the catacombs moving together. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, what's our level check for everybody? 10, 12. Okay, so Paladin and Druid needed to do a little bit more killing of some monsters. Should we, if we found a way down to level to level three, like should we go or find a waypoint? Oh, just go, just go. You don't need a waypoint here. Okay, just go find level uh, four. I got the orb uh, one to Frost Nova. Don't they need it. it. Don't need it. He's got charge bolt. And I don't fine. think so. Help me. I went to a funeral it. last week, and I oh, asked I the widow a if I could say a word. I think. She said yes, so I stood up and said, plethora. She said, thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. Okay, sorceress, you're, yeah, you need to be, yep. Yeah, I was blocked. Yeah, you're fine. That means a lot. Okay. Oh, nice. We got Fissure going. Perfect. So, yeah. Druid getting Fissure is a massive milestone. Assassin getting Wake of Fire is a massive milestone. And Sorceress getting Teleport. There you go. Good job using Shift Key this time to put potions in the belt. Proud of you. Okay. So... Assassin, what level do you have? Twelve. Yeah, you, you need to get get that wake of fire going. Get that wake of fire going. Perfect. Okay, so now between Druid and Assassin, you're going to murder everything. So this is also where it can be good to split, right? You guys kind of stuck together here. Um, and so you ran into just like full dead ends. So if one team had gone the other way, that'd be helpful. So I go with Assassin, right? Yeah, I'm going yeah. with Carol. Yep, team one, team two. And if you do have boss groups, you can okay. always call it out. Just kill that stuff. Kill that stuff, Assassin. You're like waiting way too long. Just like the team is close enough, as long as they're within two, three screens, like they're gonna get the experience and be fine. So you can just start dropping right, yeah, some. Yeah, that's exactly what I was over. Yep, you can just start dropping those wake of fires when you see them close. That's a dead end tile, so whenever you get into that tile, it'll have a boss group, but it's gonna be a dead end. I'm go, out of mana. Go check the tile on the right side. Wait, the also, I have mana. Yeah, there you go. Drop some mana on the ground. Perfect. Wait. So go move. right and then down. Don't yeah. run away. And that should I be... got the level four. Yeah. On me. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay, up there. Wait, I'll just go TP. You're close enough that you can just run, yeah. Or yeah, if you have the TP, perfect. Yep, TPs are easy. Okay. I think we again. Don't go shopping. Don't go shopping. shopping. Yeah, why are we shopping again? Paladin, like, who cares if you have potions or not? You're you're not doing damage. Thanks. 
I mean, you're doing a little bit, but like, you need to just be there getting experience, right? Like that's, that's more yeah. important. Is yeah. You getting experience, your assassin and druid are going to murder everything. So just be there. Right. And you guys should already be running There's towards Indario. Right here. Like, yes, you want to be killing that pack, but like also be opening the door and like getting ready to move forward and stuff. Right. Right, I'll need some more mana for. So, do I go Two more for s with static, dropping some potions? Sure. Yeah, you can keep going some with static. Um, feel free to get one point in. Um, so, into telekinesis when you want. And then so you can also get go. one point in frozen yep. armor at some point. Yeah. Let's get it. Uh, Paladin, you have some skill points, right? So, yep. Yeah, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and put them in like holy fire and and make sure that you've also built up to get zeal. Yep. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So just chill. Okay. And and Dariel down. Whoa. Good job. Drop. All right. Uh, and continue forward. So go to act two, go get those belts. And then uh, continue from there. 41.15 on our act one. It's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest either. Good job. I think for us, it's the fastest already. Oh, there you go. That works. Okay, sell, sell, just yeah, just sell all that stuff. You can keep chips if you want, but okay, you don't I have, have no to gold. either. It's totally <laughs> fine to sell them. Why not? Um, yeah, whoever needs gold, you know, remember drop some gold for each other. Help out. Paladin has twenty two thousand gold. Drop some gold, please. So Paladin, you should be dropping gold for everybody. Just drop like five thousand three times and let them each pick it up, right? Like, I wouldn't drop all of it. Because you'll want it. That's good. Yeah, you'll want it. Like, now split I need it. gold. Yeah, exactly. And now you need some, right? So if you just split that into fourths or something, that would have been really helpful. Then everybody picks up five grand, and then everybody's doing fine, sort of thing. There you go. So everybody, grab your five thousand gold, and then go from there. Um, looks like she's not selling belts. So just go get potions. And let's go. A lot of time shopping right now. A lot of time shopping. Paladin, you, you really shouldn't be shopping near as much right now. So what you can even do is just mm -hmm. run straight out and then drop a TP for everybody when they finish shopping. Because okay. they're going to need to shop a lot more. Right. So, you know, you can go find stuff. Go left first. You want to check that first area to the left and see if there's just the immediate turnoff. So that immediate first wall, so, always look and see if there's TP, boss groups, and then drop a TP for the group. Yep. Fine. So now you're going to split into team one and team two again. So team one can run like clockwise, team two can run counterclockwise, or whatever you want to do here. Um, oh, wow. Assassin is killing it. Yeah, and the assassin and druid, like I said, will murder everything. Oh, we got it. Okay, perfect. So everybody go here. So now split into your groups, right? One group go one way, the other go the yeah, other way. Let's go right. We go, go clockwise. Perfect. Then just then just be moving. A gift for you. Yeah, minions, this is good. cool. Sweet. Thanks, lol. Also, thanks, camel. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Carol, I got deal. deal. Okay, cool. Now I'm unstoppable. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, and so find your stairs. Oh. Okay, so sorceress, you found stairs. You should shout out to everybody that you got stairs right there. Okay. <laughs> and let's go right, Carol. We have everybody going up. Okay. So, yeah. So, there you go. Split up. Perfect. 
Cause of the dead. Okay, cool. So drop a TP. What do we do now? Drop a TP for, for Halls of the Dead. And then one group go down there and the other group go forward. So it looks like Assassin and Paladin, you guys can just go, or Druid and Paladin, you guys run forward. Assassin and, and Sorceress do the Halls. Okay. Generally, I would say do it the other way, but in this case right now, it kind of makes sense that we'll just do it this way. Well, I have a waypoint. Okay, and remember, it's always left there. left there. Okay, you got waypoint. That's fine. Just keep going forward. Just keep going forward. Go to the far oasis now. In the oasis, uh, was there something? Do we go left or right or forward? No uh, one knows. You guys got to go up still. Yeah, there you go. Uh, in the oasis, no, you're just running around looking for corners. Remember the corner talks we had with all of it? Just do that stuff. Yep. Perfect. Oh, we got Maggot Lair. Okay, so drop a TP at it. All right, cut it. I will. And then move on, try and find Lost City. Looks like you have the exit there. Perfect. What? Left of the way you come in, left of the way you come in. You guys don't need to be doing a lot down in there. You can kill some things, of course, but you're not even going to get tons of experience in the halls. So that's why I prefer the sorceress generally not doing it because we generally want her getting more experience. Okay. And then head over here. Perfect. Level three sorceress. You got to be, yeah, you got to get with that assassin. You should really just be sticking close to your assassin because she is your lifeblood. So paladin, stick close to your druid. Sorceress, stick close to your assassin. And go left of the way you came in. Yeah, you didn't need to run all the way around there. Okay, perfect. Get your cubes. Yeah. And what you can do here is pick Sorry, up upstairs. pick up cubes, go to town, drop cubes. Can you cubes. kill them? Sorceress, do you have any health potions? Nope. Okay. Assassin, kill things, please. <laughs> okay, so pick up cubes. Take it to town, drop the cube, right? Each of you pick one up, go to town, drop a cube. And then come back and pick up another cube. Just drop oh, it right by the teepees. This way oh. your, your teammates can get their own cubes here if they want. You could also obviously get it okay. from Act 3, but like this is an easier way to do it. So go back and, yeah, and then go get your second cube. Yep. Just easy ways to do it. Okay. Perfect. Now go get potions, things like that. And then you should have a um, TP to the maggot lair. Go ahead and go there, but don't go in the maggot lair currently. Just go and, and just... Okay, we have Valley of Snakes. Valley okay, Valley of Snakes. You guys go ahead and do the Valley of Snakes. Sorceress, just sell things. You're looking way too much. Do you guys have my uh, maggot layer TP? Oh shit! You had it, uh, or you didn't? I don't think they got it yet. God damn you! That's okay. Okay, um, so I I almost I almost. Okay, so I need to go back. Okay, sorceress, you should definitely um, be getting to twenty-five strength. There you go, and yep. put that belt got on. Got it already. Okay. Uh, there's a helmet for you Just drop near the second. chest. Everybody pick up your cubes when you're in town, and then um, Sorceress, you're going to need to find a way back to the far oasis. I believe there's a Dry Hills waypoint the Paladin has, so if he wants to... I can go there. Like, Carol has, Carol has damage. Yeah, so... Okay. 
I mean, it's fine. What level are you, Sorceress? 14. Oh, okay. We're way underleveled. Okay. I mean, we'll need to kill a bunch of stuff anyway, so... You know, let's just uh, avoid the Maggot Lair for now, actually. We can just get the Claw Viper Temple done. So go to the Claw Viper Temple, join up with that group, and go get the amulet. Unless it's already got been gotten. I don't think so. Okay, so you guys just go. Go, yep. Kill stuff. Perfect. Can I get a TP? Uh, yeah, drop a TP. Everybody, all four of you guys can TP. go over right here. Awesome, thank you. Kill stuff. Make sure you're staticking as well, Sorceress. You have a very wide static range. Um, make sure somebody picks that wand up on the ground. Right, we want to grab the yep, perfect gold things. Okay, and then just keep running around and leveling up here together. Okay. Once again, try not to focus too much on some basic silly things. You don't need to kill every single um, tiny monster, right? You want to kill, focus on groups, getting some groups here and there. And like whenever there's big packs of monsters kill, if there's a couple dudes remaining from it, just move on, right? Unless it's like bosses and minions and then you want to be doing stuff like that. And things like wands and stuff like that, unless it's got 10 FCR on it or 20 FCR or whatever, like don't don't care about it at all. Also, don't stand next to a fang skin. <laughs> That's that's not gonna do you well. My TP goes to Maggot Layer. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do that for a bit, but it's good to have that TP there. So just don't set any more TPs, okay? Also, Swordsers, I like the idea you had of traveling east or west and then yeah, going back. But I know don't, it was yeah, don't it was do it better for, for the waypoint. Yeah. Yep. It's only good for waypoint. Okay. Now move yeah. forward. Perfect. And now, now go talk and, and go to the harem. So somebody talk to Drognan and then everybody go to the harem and then start killing stuff there. I talk to them. Uh, we're going to do it on Thursday, SMT. She had to move it. Uh, you didn't refill your belt after you did all of that, Sorceress, just as a heads up. Yep. <laughs> Make sure you get that final buy-in in the future. But, <laughs> um, yep, so right now everybody's kind of split. Make sure that you're together, right, Sorceress? You're, you're, you're lagging behind on that group. So make sure you're with them because we really, we really want you getting experience here. My but guys, we have to be killing stuff, or maybe in Arcane Sanctuary. Yes, you'll kill stuff in the Arcane and level up there. Uh, go, I, t go talk to someone. Hmm. Go talk to someone. I, I could know. not. Yeah, you just have to talk to Atma or talk to Kane or something like that, right? Just anybody. Yeah, but I did talk to Kane and. Yeah, but now there's no dialogue. <laughs> um, yeah, you it's... didn't talk enough. Okay, go go try and somebody drop a TP for them. Yeah, drawing it. Okay. Okay. We need a TP for our sorceress. Mm. Nope. TP? There you go. I can't. You still can't go in the palace? Nope. The heck? Uh, have you talked to Judge Jerkin by the palace? What? All right, what about now? What about like an arcane TP? Can someone drop an arcane TP for? Yeah, my TP. Shit. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I destroyed the maggot layer TP for the second time. You can't go in the it's arcane like sanctuary learning. either? 
What did you not get in nope. this quest? We can do a new game or something. Oh, were you not in Act 2? Oh my gosh. All right, yeah. All right, restart. Restart. Grab that waypoint, restart. Yeah, because you went to Act 1 to do the, like, wraparound, and they broke the altar. That's what happened. Oh. So, yeah, everybody has to Dude. be in town when the when the altar's broken. So, that's right. Okay, you'll just have to do... Uh, create a new game. Yep, just do a new game, and you'll have to do the altar again. So, go to Claw Viper Temple. Thanks, David. <laughs> it's all right. You guys need experience anyways. Move together as a team. Get more experience. And we have, the the Ar- we have the Arcane Sanctuary anyways, so, like, that's good. We needed yeah. to run that, so it's not it's not end of the world. Right? Oh, it's wait. Like, but did we find any waypoint along the way? Somebody has think so. a Dry Hills waypoint. I think that's it. Yep, I'll check. Yeah, and always before you press yep, the right altar, field. always say, I'm going to hit the altar now. Is everybody in Act 2? Things like that. Obviously, it was a very small, short window where the sorceress TP. tried to do that thing. And so, like, that was very small. But, you know, that's that's one thing for sure that you want everybody in there. Okay. Right now, we have the source and paladin running together. What did we say about source and paladin together? It doesn't work. Um, go back and and get a druid and uh, or an assassin with you. Like right now, just you're you're running around a lot, but assassin should be with the group because that's where all the killing comes from, which is all the experience. Assassin and druid. Yeah, more communication. I want to hear you guys talk. Hi, Obviously, I'm, I'm yelling curious. over for coaching. How are but... you going to teach them how to fourth way? Or rather, what is the learning method for first weighing it? Okay. Um, yeah. Get together, get together. Be right back. Okay, so we need to go up the stairs, right? So we got the stairs here. Yep, so everybody go up. Back. Can I get a TP? My TP? From, yeah, from Kaga. Okay. How are we doing? Oh shit. That's good. Okay, for raises. Okay. Drop a TP. Oh, no TPs left. That's fine, everybody's there. We're all here. Okay, you got beetles as well, Fuck. so kill beetles. Also, you want to have your life pretty much maxed out when there's beetles around because. It's a lot of damage. My TP for it. Sell your tome and then buy it back. Oh, you don't? Yeah, you have gold. Sell your tome and buy uh, it back so you get okay. TPs. You can do it at anybody. It doesn't matter who. You could have done it at Farah okay. as well. Okay, and then just, yeah, lots of beetles, lots of things to kill here. Assassin and druid, like, be, be paladin or too, too far ahead with the druid if you want. I mean, if you guys are together, that's fine. Each team kill your own stuff, then yeah, that's fine, that's fine. But you guys need to be, you know, you got juicy beetles here. Beetles are worth a lot of experience, so be killing beetles for sure.
Source, grab that waypoint. That'll be useful for later. And then, yep, go up and try and find Lost City. Looks like you got it. So, Lost City is found, but kill these beetles. Wait, oh, I have my good layer. Third time I open a TP next to it. Okay, and source and source or assassin drop a TP, and everybody go through that TP and go to the lost city. And call it out when you drop it. TP on lost city. Good job. Where's my druid? Lost my druid. Hello. Uh, druid, where you at? <laughs> so big, give me a minute. Okay. Yeah, I was about to open your ATP. <laughs> okay, ready? I can't open a TP. I, I, I just uh, removed myself this kind of uh, hotkey from TP now. <laughs> what, are those, what are those three grand charms that you have, Druid? Uh... Uh, Dex, Strange, and F FHR. Okay, toss the Dex and Strange. It's for Sorceress, man. Oh, yeah, only keep the FHR, and then that'll go to the Sorceress later. The other two, you can sell them or toss them. It doesn't matter. A little bit of gold, but like that's a lot of inventory space that you're you're keeping right there. Should have been up here. I have stairs. Kill stairs. Go up. Sources, what level so, are you? TP. 15. Okay. I'm 15 too. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm a paladin. No, it's still good though. I mean, it's still good. Oh, wait. Though. I think I have it. And remember, start, I have it. Pre start prepping for it. figure. I found it. Okay. Um, but you can't set open a TP, it. right? So, I can. Yeah. yeah. Carol, drop a TP. Sweet. Okay. There you go. Thanks. At Carol. And now we can get some XP here, or we just go and. Uh, just, I mean, yeah, feel free to kill stuff as well. Like, you guys are still under leveled for sure, but it doesn't matter. We'll get experience in the arcane, we can get experience in the tombs. We don't actually need get... the staff okay. from the Maggot Lair until it's time to put the staff into the orifice. So anything prior to that, you can just get it, right? Like you can get experience okay, wherever so you want. My there is permanent. <laughs> Gum. Um, sounds disgusting, camel. Abandon all hope. Okay, perfect. Level two. Everybody is here. Make sure you're calling out. I mean, obviously, you can see everybody, but still, just for practice purposes. It was funny because like I didn't see that we're on level two. You're seeing this with a delay, yeah. and you already knew that we're there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you can see Next maps level. and things. <laughs> you identify a lot of tile pieces, so... <laughs> There's a lot of... Okay, everyone stuff. here? Perfect. <laughs> okay. Now go to town. This time, since we're doing Act 2, is everyone in Act 2? Oh, yep. shit, I'm stuck here. Okay, so now go to the Arcane Sanctuary uh -huh. and drop a TP and Sorceress wait for the Arcane Sanctuary TP. You have to do it, Carol. My, my TP is kind of like a reserved. So I still go with Static. I need one point. Uh, get one in frozen armor, and I think you already put one in telekinesis, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, that'll be helpful for when you start teleporting. Okay. So what did we lose? Like 10 minutes on yeah. this mistake? Everybody to the Arcane Sanctuary. 
Oh no. Okay. Oh, I have a bad idea. Oh god. I so should have created the game. Sorceress didn't create the game, did they? Oh, oh I thought they oh, did. Jesus. <laughs> next All right, minutes. next game. <laughs> it's fine, still getting experience. Sorceress, please create the next game. I thought you did. <laughs> oh, Dead boy. Bad. Okay, but he can go, but uh, he only can't uh, go to our TP. So no. we can follow no, us and go no, to no, the no, Darien. No. Everybody to the new game. And uh, David needs to create a new game. Party. And the thing is, you guys still need experience. So I once again, the this isn't the worst thing because you still need experience. So, like, it's still okay. We have beetles as well. So, assassin and druid, oh, wait. Wow. come out to the team's DPs and, and go help out. So we're finding, like, an alternate way to do tomb runs without doing tomb runs. Yeah. It's a hack. And it's fine. I mean, this is fine. Join my army of the dead. I can't wait to be coached by Master Lama Senpai. We're slowly moving away from our, like, a world record target. But we can speed up later. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about is that. Is like an official, like, a four people, four people world record? No. We don't have an official four-person time. We have an eight-person time. That's, so whatever we do right now, it's kind of a world record. A little bit, maybe. <laughs> we'll call it that, sure. Um, I mean, it gets us a baseline, right? So then for the future, yeah, we have a baseline. Up here. Okay, Sorceress, you got to get some stamina potions in the future. Yep. This is like six shopping trips without buying you stamina. Don't. Oh, that's true. That's Dry Hills. Yep. Oh, people were here already. So up there is Lost City, top right there. Yep. So I will open. So my TP for Lost City. Okay. Okay, and then have everybody there and kill that boss group, right? Like there's a lot of stuff right there. So get the group next to you first, Assassin. You getting experience is like, I don't want to say pointless, but like you need to make sure your sorceress is getting experience. Okay, I need some health potions. That's going to be your main thing. Thank you. Perfect. Kill bosses. Good. Okay, source needs health. Okay, Kaka, I'm following out. you. David, like, tell people you need health potions, man. You can't just run around with 10 health. <laughs> okay. <laughs> need more health potions. Thank you. Nice. Because if you're dying, you're losing experience, you're I losing time, to. all that stuff. It's, it's, you know, very important that you pick up some health potions along the way and... and and do whatever you can there. Got the stairs. Yeah, you guys go up the stairs because they're downstairs. And it's not even down anyway, so maybe drop a TP for them so they can go up. Wait, we have to we have to learn by ourselves. 
it's not down there. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, you guys split up which way you're going. Perfect. So they went right, let's go left. Better. So yeah, I would definitely say for David, a big focus will be on your potion buying. Like making sure you're getting more health, more stamina, things like that. You know, you're stacked out on mana potions like crazy, but you're you're you've yep. been neglecting your mana and, and stamina or your life and stamina a lot. Wait, I think I found it. I yep. think it's from my solo tries yep. when yep. I had Guys. to kill everything. Yep. Okay. ITP. Go, so, go, go. TP and then Yep, you guys go back. And let's go left, right? That's the tile. So I go okay, here. So. Not down here. Okay. <gasps> we have an awesome item. Mm, I don't have Sivirbs? No, that's trash. Don't. <laughs> not, <laughs> that's a very good drop, man. Not awesome at all. Level 17. We've been the first team running. Okay, perfect. Clow Viper, uh, Clow Viper Temple. Farming okay, Clover. Okay, you got level exactly. two. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's pretend it's on purpose. Sorceress, please don't stand next to Fang Skin. Let your druid and assassin just go run forward and kill it, and then go hit the altar. And now somebody go drop the arcane sanctuary. <laughs> <sighs> or maybe one more run, Cloud uh, Cloud Viper run two. No five. Maybe one more run. And then everybody <laughs> to the to the Claw Viper after you get potions. Sell first, get your potions. Control click, yep, there you go. Get your potions. Make sure you're what balancing it right. Get your light potions, yeah, don't get miners. Help me. Minor it's potions. It's peanut are trash. butter arcane time. That's right, isn't he? Uh, I have FCR ring, David. Perfect, thank you. Good call out. Uh, yeah. Drop a TP at the Arcane Sanctuary. Remember, assassin running forward just like does nothing. You need to be way more focused on your team right now um, and your sorceress. Okay. That's like that I'm is your in. number one thing, Max. Is your sorceress right? She is your property. Uh, your your empress. Everything is focused around getting her to eighteen. So if you're running ahead, killing stuff on your own, like you're hurt. So we go all together from the Sanctum? So you can go in teams, right? You can do two and two. Do your splits. Um, okay, that, of, let's go different direction. Yeah, know that Druid and, and Assassin are going to struggle on stairs, right? Uh -huh. So that's going to be a little annoying. Oh, shit. What's that? But Sorry, Paladin and Swords can help there. Uh, let's go. Let's go from here. Uh, maybe just a let's few. Keep a Hello, we'll direction. see when we get there. Drew okay. Out. Yeah. We still have three people, and yep, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Good. Yep. And then just kill stuff. Yeah, Max. And advance and be very careful with stairs assassin so something that you really want to focus on like in this case right now you should not be on those stairs because you're actually going to drag them to the stairs instead you'll want to have run to the left side of that initial piece to keep them on the uh, flat surface and then set your traps up above until they die it ended up working out fine and you obviously have the sorceress so it's going to work out better a lot of the time but just something that you should be aware of also, don't forget your burst. Of Hello, speed. can you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Druid and 
Whoa, Carol, your stream is way behind. What happened? Hmm. All right, I'll just follow the paladin. Whose uh, who's stream is behind? Carol's stream. Okay. It's like three minutes behind now. I don't think it was that bad before. I can see him, so so like I'm, I'm like it's, yeah, it's I'm cool. I see it on the paladin screen, but yeah, that's just something we'll. Yeah, I think one of the issues that Mister. Okay. Okay, and then remember, if you get. Okay, so it's not here. Okay, so yeah, not first way. Max, or... you blocked us. You guys, so just take a TP okay. and go back to the arcane sanctuary, right? Like. Go go run another path. For sure, Sarah. Okay, Carol, we go again, right? Let's go. Yep, so go again and just pick a new direction. And yeah, both Sorcerer's and Assassin really focus on keeping monsters off of stairs. But like, yeah, Sorcerer's is kind of stuck down there. Paladin needs help. Need some help. Carol, you got to be there. Not, I have. not sure what's going on. I'm dying. Yeah. Okay, so Assassin, you were way too far ahead of your Sorceress, right? Like, once again, your Sorceress yeah, is, is, your, in trouble. is your goal. I mean, even not knowing in trouble, like, they should be right next to you. If there's if there's three screens behind you, like, um, you know, go back and help them out, essentially. You can't leave your team behind. Your character yeah, is everything. Your Sorceress can't do so anything right can now. Can you hear me, Max? <laughs> because I was calling you, like, three yeah. times. No, uh, well, I didn't hear you before. Okay, there was a lot like talking. Maybe that's why. Okay. Oh, so that's what you meant. Yeah, so we suck it on the stairs. Right, so stairs are bad <laughs> because damage on stairs is just non existent, just about for Assassin and Druid. So. So we found a weakness in our team. <laughs> uh, communication is one, and so we got the <laughs> so we, is a quest two. popped out. So who's okay. got him? Okay, so yeah, so um, someone got him. The quest log popped up. I don't have quest. Sorceress has it. What's it say? Wait. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Just keep looking. Okay, so communication and stairs. Carol, get off the stairs. <laughs> yep, so you just gotta drag them off of the <laughs> stairs. Exactly. And then you kill them. Perfect. Oh, just leave you behind. Carol, don't leave your paladin behind. Uh, your paladin empty. can't kill things. Carol, please go back and save your paladin. <laughs> I'll, I'll save myself. Carol, open TP. Thank you. Okay, get your gold. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Go get potions. And some health potions, please. Go check. Go You're running. Yeah. Check it's for here. Okay. okay, everyone come here. Yep, drop a TP, drop Wait, a TP, assassin. We have to make sure everyone's here. Yep, assassin, you need to get in there. Assassin? You need to go oh, and just drop a TP. I mean, now it's too late, but generally just drop a TP because that'll put you right next to them, right? Everybody drop a TP. Don't kill the seminary yet, Carol. Wait till the group is there. Okay. No, I'm here. Okay, yeah. Are you here? Okay. 
Uh, oh, and he's dead. Perfect. Good. <laughs> Just in time. So really be careful exactly. there, right? Like, it's really be careful. It. it ended up being well-timed that time, but, like, in the future, you got to be super careful. Um, okay. And now go through, and everybody go get that waypoint. Do we go and shop? Uh, Maybe we should call yes, when we're yeah, going shopping yeah, or something shopping. like this, so we're you not can... wasting time. Yep, you can go and shopping like there if you shopping. want. And if, and if somebody's oh. already got a bunch of potions, then I think the assassin does. The assassin can just run forward and go to the tomb and then drop a TP. So sun is straight up. I have a 12, plus 12 to live run charm. Anyone wants that? Plus to what? Uh, Why to... I'm keeping it. It's beautiful. Okay, and then everybody go to the tombs. Shit. Anyone want some stamina potions? I don't really need them. Uh, Sorceress, you have way too many health potions. You should be three and one the opposite way. There you go, much better. Oh, I have. Uh, let's seen... wait for the sorcerer. Yeah, TP. remember sources. Sources is uh, very important here. So. Okay, so, so I have vigor as a. So now you all be running faster. Perfect. Good. Hoo hoo. Helpful. Yep. And now run around and kill stuff in here as a team. Sorceress, are you seventeen or sixteen? Seventeen. Okay. Good. Almost there. Perfect. So when you hit 18, you're going to go off to the maggot lair and go get the staff. Okay. Also, if anybody finds an eth rune, call it out immediately. And of course, any FCR gear, you also call that out. So do I like hunt for the stuff and Akara? Uh, no. Like, usually that's something the paladin okay, can go 18. do. Perfect. Okay, so go back to Far Oasis. Do you have that waypoint? Yeah. Okay, good. So you go and, and everybody I get else two continue extra leveling points. up. Yep, so go ahead and put them in static. One extra still. Just put static, yep, you're good. Okay, I'm keeping close to my droid. I maxed static. Is it possible? Okay. No. Static is 20, so you won't max it. So, okay. anyone now, seen Maggot Layer? Teleport around, teleport around. It uh, hasn't been found I, yet. Not in this game, I think. Yeah. So, you're going to have to... I'll, I'll probably eventually teach you with this, but teleporting on the Sorceress with light healing potions is, is definitely a pain. So yeah, you do teleport, run, teleport, teleport, run, teleport, run, right? Like you have to do this constant cycle and you're always going to be wanting to check and make sure that you have like mana regening, basically. Um, so yeah, you're, there you go. You got it. So this is also where it's very helpful to have even more mana potions, right? One set of health, three set of mana. Okay, so we found it. So what do we do? There's Maggot Lair. There's Maggot right? to the left, to the left, to the left. Okay, so you guys found it. Nice. So now you guys should somebody drop a TP, and then you guys should go kill some more stuff. Like go go back to the Canyon of the Magi and just run around and kill stuff there, while the sorceress okay. is teleporting. To Maggot Lair first. Right. right. Uh, it was right. And also put on your frozen armor. That'll help you, just for survivability. Okay. Ah. So. Uh. I'm still clicking outside of my Diablo window all the time. Yeah, you'll get used to it. <laughs> so right now, as so, I'm level 18, like the only way I can help the team is just by providing them like a fast running, right? Yeah. So like sorceress purpose if, now. If you look, David, you, you could have seen that you could have just teleported over that wall immediately at the start in level one. Yeah. Right. There was no yeah, reason I to. I should at least try that. Yeah. Even if I haven't exactly. seen it. Exactly. Right. So 
Yep. Anyways, go back and then just continue. Uh, you're nearby, Max. I can open a TP. Oh, no, I can't. I'm holding the... Uh, cool. So, yeah, you want to be going to the right again. So you, you went past your first... There you go. Sorceress, yeah, you want to go. You're going wrong direction. You're going wrong direction, sorceress. You're going. You're going left right now. Remember, right at the way yeah, you came okay. in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, drink a health potion. No reason to even like risk it and like and have your health be any bit low. And right. then straight now, yeah. So get mana uh -huh. potions. Okay, yeah. See, this is where you overloaded on health potions now, and so yeah, it's fine. The team's leveling up, which is always good. I got some sweet two socket armor for stealth. If we have perfect, yep. Give that over to your sorceress. Where's my damage, friend? <laughs> I have beetles here. In city? Went somewhere. And let's just say that you get to... Oh, did you go to another town? Let's say you get to the end here and it's so crowded and it's terrible. Like, you can call your friends over yeah. as well if you... Yep, so you can say, hey guys... Okay, so my TP is not safe. Yeah. So Maggot Lair... But you need help? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah. So Go sometimes there. the final I'm room is next super to nasty. Stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, can, I can help. So, yeah. Druid, get in there and drop a fissure and then everything will be good. <laughs> so tell me when. I open the chest. It's good. Yep. That's I have all good. stuff. No, I don't have a stuff. I have a stuff. Okay, so get the staff, morph right. it, and then get whoever needs to go, go back to that Tower Rush's tomb, and let's finish Act 2. Now we're talking. And Sorceress, you're not going to need the staff as well, right? Like, only one person needs to make it, so it's not a huge deal. I'll make it. Okay. I got it. All right, go put and it And I have in. a TP to the right place. Yep, perfect. All right, everybody go. And get partied before you do stuff. A gift for you. Thank you for the quality content, Mr. Llama. Oh, someone already did it. <sighs> That's not team play. <laughs> okay, and yep, now go kill Daryl. Keep going like a fire, perfect. Yep. Okay, don't let the sorceress be the tank. <laughs> but <laughs> there we go. Alright, perfect. Move on. One twenty eight for act two. Not bad. And so it's like minus 20 minutes for uh, for claw vapor runs and minus 20 minutes for shopping and <laughs> pretty much and you're right on face um, yeah okay so yeah so head over talk to jerhin mm -hmm. and don't worry about shopping really right here um unless you want to grab a couple of stamina potions otherwise yeah talk to jerhin don't run back always go through the palace and and somebody just sets a tp there and then you just yep that's the faster way okay and then perfect okay so act three um i still think we should have the paladin and druid go do some tomb running together for experience and the sorceress, mm -hmm. you should just get um, mass mana potions. And then, oh, you have chances. Yeah. Put them on, sure. Oh, or give them to the assassin. Give them to the assassin. Wait, what? Yeah, she got chances. That's actually a legit good item, right? Yeah, chances are great. 
Okay, and please as well. All right, sorcerers, just go. Yeah, go get mana so potions. Do I sell all the potions? Yeah, the... drink all your lights and sell sell light all those one. light potions. Yep, and then just get get a bunch of full health and and full mana potions. You're also gonna need gold, so um, you know, assassin. If you have some gold to spare, yeah. give some over yeah. to the sorceress. Fuck. Language, please. Thank you. Sorry. Um. And uh, and some yeah. armor for you in front of K. Okay, and then yep, get your potions. Perfect, and mana. Yep, get more mana because you're gonna be doing a lot of teleporting. Okay. And studded leather is two open sockets, but it's so twenty-seven strength. So no, no, I just sell that Cathens. Cathens is worthless. And you'll want to pick up the studded leather, but once again, that's 27 strength. So you need two more strength. Okay. And then you can wear it. Okay, perfect. So just go forward. So should I exp with the other two guys? or? Um, so, yeah, so this has taken a while. So assassin, stay right here. And don't go join that group. And sorceress, you're going to teleport. And anytime you run into a pack, anytime you run into big groups, whatever it is, you can drop a TP, Spider Cavern, things like that, and then the Assassin can um, kill some stuff right here. So you're going to be just teleporting, and you can teleport a little bit faster here because you have regular mana potions now. But, yeah, your main thing is just teleport, and then the Assassin can join you, and like, like right now would be a good time to drop a TP. You've got Spider Cavern, you've got a okay, big group of stuff. Join. Yeah. So assassin, now you join in in there. Perfect. And has anybody found an Ethrune yet? I don't no luck. Think so. Okay. That's fine. Yep. There you go. Don't Help die, me. please. Perfect. I believe last time you explained the two by six maps where exits can be on the third or fifth tile unless yes. they're on the sixth tile. Right. I know I understand it perfectly. Will you re-explain it to them while they're running the jungles? <laughs> Just for the others. Probably not. It's probably still too advanced right. right now. Uh, yeah, so grab the eye and then continue forward Might again. Be Marty. I'm boss for you. Yep, we got a boss group. So once again, this is if you come on out, assassin, there's a boss group right here for you. It's a little dangerous. And all these things I'm saying, David should be saying, right? Just for future. Okay, make sure that your fire traps are actually hitting things. Um, there's walls here and stuff, so you gotta be like, you know, be aware where you're placing those traps. Whoa! Perfect. What a drop. Uh, it's Raven. Whoa. Wait, Do it's get Raven. Bow? Yeah, Raven. Slow. It fires explosive. Just sell it. It's, yeah, explosive ball. It's, it's not worth anything, but fun drop. Come on. And what are you going to do with it? It's, it's a bow. It's with entrance. You have no bows on Someone it. Was, and, uh, like, there was some sort of like an entrance thing. That, that, <laughs> so, okay. Anyways. Um, so yeah. So now Assassin can kill some things, whatever, chill, and then can wait in town. And then when Sorceress is ready, she can say, okay, I got another boss or I got another whatever. And yep. So Source keep going. Nope. No, it's not a turn off. That's a two block. Remember, we can only turn off on our three block and our five block and potentially our six block, if not at three or five. Also, put your frozen armor on. That's going to help you a lot. You didn't put it on. It, it fake casted. And again, it fake casted. You, you keep getting put into hit recovery whenever it's trying to cast it. Yeah. Okay, so assassin, like, feel free to go in that TP and just kind of kill some stuff. True. That's Let's TP. go up, Carol. Get mana. Yeah. Okay. Need some so gold. Can, there you go. Make sure you call that. Okay. Grab some things. Also, sell that small term of defense. You only want to keep, yeah. You only want to keep like charms that are life and res and hit recovery. Anything else you shouldn't have. Okay, get mana though. Sell the Cathans.
Okay, good enough. Um, you can go get some more gold. Later. All right. We got that. And keep going. Okay, so now you're just going forward. You're not going in any more of those things. Martin, you're just trying to look at it. your three uh, fives okay. across. Okay, right. we got that. So we could give uh, guys. So we have okay. everything. So Etherin, yeah, let's so meet up. Perfect. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give you stuff so that the uh, sources can tell it better. Yes. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to right. me, get that experience come. shrine, sorceress, please. Please go down and grab that. Ethrum is next to Cain in uh, Act uh, 3. Okay. And then you can like run a little bit here and like get a tiny bit of experience. Because you have this experience shrine, there's a lot of monsters here. Even though you don't really have boss groups, still still decent amount of monsters. Um, but yeah, your main goal now, of course, is to find the Flare Jungle. It's looking like you probably don't have a skip, but we will see. Um, Okay, so go ahead and assassin. Do you have any gold to drop? If you do, drop it for the um, sorceress. Okay, no gold. That's fine. Uh, yep. So just kill some things. Perfect. Sorceress, get all your potions restocked. Yep. And then, okay, go ahead and start teleporting forward. Once you kill like this pack of stuff, yep. Good. Okay. So go ahead and start teleporting. Try to get Flare Jungle here. Uh, Martin, come for X. If you're looking for an wait, F wait, FCR wait, one, by the way, um, and yeah. you're shopping for it, just look for 10 FCR straight. It can also be on scepters. It doesn't just have to be on wands. Just as an FYI. I'm looking for I'm looking for David as a yes, for, yes, for yes, him yes. for to teleport faster. Yep. So it's going to cost about four grand, a little bit more than four grand, if you uh, find that. So you can also shop in Act so Three got for it if you like. And like I say, also check scepters. Scepters can also have it. There's a scepter. Okay. Hey, you're you're doubling back way too much, David. Just like go forward. Like you don't need to be going in any of these areas, right? Like why? Great Marsh doesn't have anything. Um, go grab the Eth rune and the Tau rune, and remember to go to twenty-seven strength. The Eth rune's in front of Kane there. Yep. And yeah. grab, get the 27 strength when you level up here, and then get your stealth armor. Oh, wait, I got you a, 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 a 10 FCR2. I'll drop you an X3 uh, weapon. So, the like 10 FCR weapon is in town next to Kane, X3. Okay, Kagar, I can go back and next with you. Okay, grab your mm -hmm. wand. Perfect. Go level up really fast. So go just like stand outside and yeah. have one thing die and level up and then perfect. Get your strength. 27. Perfect. Rest. So now put some in energy, right? As well. And make yourself the rest, okay. right? Energy. Right. Yeah, energy. And then just pump energy up a little bit. Go to like, you know, 50, 55, whatever you want in there. Um, and next points, put all your points, Talaneth, yep. And then put all of your points into teleport at this point. Perfect. Okay. Good job, Paladin and Druid. You're leveling well. Thank you. Yep. And then Source, just keep running. Uh, we'll need to work on Act 3 maps at some point. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I have notes, David. Just tell me what you need to know. I got them as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Yep, and then just keep going. Get yourself a flare jungle. Huh. And yeah, we need gold. There's gold on the ground. Grab that. Get mana potions. 
So Sorceress is going to need gold often. So you're going to just make callouts many times about gold. That's just going to be a thing. Sell that other tower in if you want. And then, yeah. Flip, perfect. Okay, and then keep going. Remember, you're in the Great um, Marsh. Yep, wrong TP, yep. My TP. Okay, go in, yep. And then teleport left. Go left, go left, uh, go not left. this way. Wrong way. A gift for you. Flare jungle. Forever. Perfect. So we got flare. Oh, nice. Yeah. So <laughs> flare jungle is very dangerous. So you're going to have to be super careful in the fair. Flare, first off, have your frozen armor up. Second, just you got to really be kind of teleport yeah. a little bit shorter. Don't teleport always max range there. Um, and just, just be very aware of like where you're teleporting and, and stuff. Because if you teleport into fire breathers then you're dead like that's that um also stuff that you can pick up for gold here uh, you know armors are always good so like chain mails and ring mails and all of that stuff that's just worth a few thousand easy so i like to pick up you know splint mails plate mails all that stuff i'm just like grabbing those when i need Help gold me. i think you're doing the things. trainees a disservice by not having them get a mechanics cap to create a nadir i believe they'd improve the times by over 25 percent maybe Maybe S and T. Okay, yeah. So do more like going straight forward in, in Act Three. You're doing a lot of like exploration of everything, and this is like also a really good experience. My TP. You know, but okay. So, like, TP, go. You already skipped across right there, so that was a tile, right? So you've skipped. Yeah, we need we need some big Act okay, Three. Okay. Big Act Three work. Um, go ahead and run with the assassin right now. I think I think that'll be better. Um. Teleporting right now is going to be tough, and it seems like you uh, will we'll have to work some more map knowledge there. So, run with the assassin, Join go for it. Yep. And. Perfect. Guaranteed to make you a better speedrunner in just a few weeks. And if the other two Top want to the come one over and, and join now, Lama. go ahead and come over X -world and join the Flare now, because they're all running together. X boyfriend. Call now to get 50% okay. off of go. your first session. So you guys did a great job in the tombs. Very proud of you. And yep. So be careful and just know there's like a lot of like really good experience over there, right? So just kind of stick stick more with the group right now. It's okay. Get yourself a little experience and, and stuff. But you can see like this tile that you're on right now, David, that's a opens up to the right side, right? So you need to know, like, these tiles. Exactly, David. Don't embarrass, don't embarrass us. <laughs> know your tiles. Wait, I could be giving them something more than Vigor right now, right? Um, like, maybe this kind of, like, a stuff that uh, gives them more mana. Okay, yep. And then this is all decent experience for sure. So, yeah, so you guys want to go into the right side there, right? Like, this is Flare Jungle, and you guys just ran past that entrance. So we need to go check, is that the Flare Dungeon? What's going on? And obviously getting bodies is also good, though. So the Paladin is, yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, so is this Flare Dungeon? It is the Flare Dungeon. Okay, so let's get the Jidbin here. And let's kill Mr. Man. And then we'll set a TP and we'll have uh, Source and, and Assassin go down and Paladin and Druid continue forward. Uh, so, wait. So where do we go? Into the Flare Dungeon, and Paladin and Druid, you guys continue forward and head towards the lower crust.
Okay, so now... Kyle, so we're supposed to go to Flyer Jungle, right? Yeah, so Paladin, uh, Paladin, Paladin Druid go to, to Flare Jungle and go forward. And Assassin, you should no, be... We're supposed to push forward. Assassin, where are you going right now? Why are you talking to Ashira? Don't, uh, just... don't, talk, don't ever talk to Ashira. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking notes. Um, well, I figured Assassin, go join your go join your sorceress. Through the... uh, if she can, well, she's in town now. She's okay. here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right. Um, if she can, I just uh, she's been the source is having a little teleporting difficulties, so that's why I figure you should be in there as well. But yes, yeah, sorceress, if you can, teleport through the flare dungeon. Remember, you're just going straight left of where you came in. Nope, where are you going? I mean, yeah. Flyer Dungeon? Dungeon, yes. So, uh, le through it. left okay. of the entrance, yeah. <laughs> Put your armor on, and then... You still don't have your armor yeah, on. Yeah, I'm clicking on my... Outside of my Diablo window all the time, so... <laughs> Come on, man. Still no armor on. So here is something that you're going to have to really note and figure out is that you need to, you can't teleport, run, teleport, run super well in some of these areas. So you have to be really careful. So like when you're blind teleporting into an area, you need to be able to have another teleport available already, right? Because there's, you know, okay. there, there could be fire breathers, there could be rough stuff. And if you're going to get stuck in the middle of that, then you're going to die. So you need to be able to teleport like twice or three times. And yeah. I mean, it's hard, right? This isn't, this is not easy. Sorceress is the hardest character um, to play. So that's why we always try and say like, put your most skilled player um, on the sorceress because with these teleports and stuff, it's just brutal. <laughs> What a diss! diss. <laughs> I'm, I'm not dissing at all. I'm I'm just saying this is this is generally the the way that we try and do it, just because it's so hard. Okay, so you got level two okay, over here. Two. Perfect. So yeah, so like, yeah, drink your mana, make sure that you're full, run a little bit, and then when you when you get to a point where you need to like teleport, you know, make sure you can teleport. If you're teleporting blind, you have the ability to have another teleport available essentially because you just don't want to be caught in the middle of stuff with no mana so you should already be like drinking that mana potion right like yeah there you go there you go good that was that was much better level really, good. Three. Okay. really good level Arcane. two okay now go right above yourself uh, to pee. and i, I think found cross bazaar i think it's up left i think it's the t the left sorry Okay, uh, let me know when you set So be TP careful up. here and drop a TP because otherwise you're going to die and it's going to be bad. Yeah, right, nice. go in. Okay, perfect. Assassin, if you want to help out. Come in. <laughs> Assassin, you're shopping. You should be helping. There you go. Um, okay, and grab your piece. And then you can go back and... Remember, whoever, especially Paladin, drop some gold whenever you're in town so you can help out the uh, sorceress. But you guys don't need to kill point. that boss. Just, you just now? get your brain. And then get a TP and then go join up with the group. And now you can go to the sewers. So Paladin or Druid, drop a TP for them. My TP. Uh, do you, you have mana, Martin? No. I have nothing. We can go back and shop. Okay. Okay, yep. So everybody shop, get potions. Spread gold around if nice. you need to. I have net room. Uh, six energy, and 20, uh, 10 mana on the ground. Drink. Okay. Job source. 
You can teleport over that if you hold I and then do like the long teleports. Just as a heads up for the future. You can always teleport over that wall if you long teleport it. I don't even know if you have to press I. You can just go right to the corner of your screen with your teleport and, and should be able to. Go get sewers. You're kind of running right on the edge for no reason. Sewers is in the middle. Um, so go go to the sewers. Yep, and then back. Nope, down a little bit. I mean, the sewers might... Oh, there's a waypoint. As well. Oh, I forgot which way we entered the field. Uh, it's you guys entered it um, top, in a different game. <laughs> top right, <laughs> yeah. you entered it. But yeah, it was a different game, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, so now teleport. But I can't believe you remember that. Yeah. It's uh -oh. my job. Um, okay, and perfect. And you want to be looking to, to like break off. So like you've already, yeah. So you want to be checking the outer walls here pretty much. That's going to be your your goal. So you can also see um, that he's up there running around looking as well. So kind of like spread from him some. Uh, my TP next to Travi waypoint. You are we also... go for Travi, Carol. Oh, there you go. I yeah. got it. Perfect. Careful. Don't die. Drink your health potions. Huh. Okay, and then don't you don't have to kill. You can just go down. Yep, just go into the sewers level two. Perfect. Okay, don't kill all of the Trav until everybody is there. Just as a heads up. Um, and good, then, good yep. David, go and go, go. Just go grab the chest. What are you doing? Go to the chest. It's level two. A gift for you. It's straight up. Yeah, always. There you go. Okay, grab the heart, and now go join up with the rest of the group. David, I don't have one. Just exit the game and rejoin. <laughs> or die. Nah, then you lose your body. Thank you, man. Party, please. Yep, party. And remember, do not kill the Travancol without everybody there. Okay. Also, get, get some gold. Yeah, get some uh, gold on the for ground. David. There yeah. you go. Grab like 10,000 if you need David, because you're going to need more. And get teepees as well. How many eyes and hearts and brains did Kaleem have, anyway? Just, just fill it with scrolls. You don't need to huh. sell. Selling the tome isn't going to do yeah. it. You need to fill with scrolls at that vendor. Yeah. Okay, and get your potions. And you're out of gold. Go pick up that other. Yeah, just grab the, the rest of it. You need gold. Thank you, Zai. He had a lot. <laughs> there you go. Better. Okay, and now go join the group. And Trav and Cole, everybody to Trav, everybody to Trav. And now press Q for me. Let me just make sure that Trav isn't like dead and we're not screwed. Okay, cool. Okay, everybody Everyone kill here. Yep, let's go, let's go, kill let's go. Council. And it's not just at the Trav, it's everybody needs to be close to. Like everybody, when the Trav dies, needs to be next to the Travancol. It's really annoying. Don't but if you're listen within, to Lama. If you're not within he a few wants screens, you to suck so he has no competition for speed runs. Kappa. And then make sure you kill all of them and you get the quest. And yep, Source, go grab the flail. You should have all the pieces in your cube, so you should be just focusing on hitting the orb while they kill the rest mm, of the stuff. But Max, I think you have the eye. Okay, so Max drop the eye. Yeah. yeah I... And then you put the flail yeah, in there as well. Like... You can just grab the flail off the ground and put it in your cube. You don't need to make space for it. Right? Just press I. Uh... And then just pick it up and put it in the cube. <laughs> there you go. Okay, grab the eye as well. Perfect. Morph it. Whack it. Let's do it. Okay, this left. was left or right? Left of the left. way you came in. Okay. 
left. I found it. Other left. <laughs> there you go. Come on here, Telesaurus. Just follow me. <laughs> yeah. And then straight across after this. Rip. Uh, give me the pee. Um, yeah, somebody dropped What do you eat, Carol? I didn't hear you. Okay, good job. So all you go Come on, on, man. <laughs> So like, oh, I can anyone near my body to get? Yes, I can. Uh, you can go my portal. And by the way, there's a waypoint here. So that one, I found. one tip for you, David, when you're teleporting, one, you should definitely be drinking your potions more just to make sure your health and mana are like going up. But additionally, like okay. one, you teleported into that group of zombies when you saw yeah. them on your screen. You gotta like not do that. Also, teleport. Um, <laughs> across there but <laughs> additionally like sometimes you'll get stuck with monsters hitting you a bunch and the best way to not like david to get i out found of it. it you can just you can just come here yeah. the best way to get out when they're hitting you is to just walk a little bit first and then start teleporting so if if you're constantly getting put in hit recovery but you have the ability you can walk a tiny bit and then you can teleport and that can be a great way to escape Okay, and then just okay. go across. Just teleport. Just teleport across and drop a TP. Like you guys don't need to kill all these things if you don't want to. Yeah. Drop so, a TP. so you there told you us a lot about uh, a lot of a lot of knowledge about the tiles, uh, yep. but it's kind of like a, you you should start with this uh, knowledge. Like if you see a group of monsters, don't teleport into them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Uh, I mean, I love this kind of tips. It's uh, a bit like you know when you get hit and die. Just don't, <laughs> don't do it. Can someone exactly. kill Mephisto? There's also yeah. gold on the ground in town in Act Three. Uh, just as a heads up. Oh. Um, also, you have one of the guys that you dragged over there, so you need to kill him, or he'll start healing Mephisto. Just as a heads up, you can't have any min or of the uh, Travancore type dudes there. Yep. Source, you gotta really dodge. Every shot is gonna murder you, so whenever you see Mephisto lining up and starting to aim towards you, like, don't be attacking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you need to be dodging, and, you know, that you'll, it's something where you kind of learn the cadence, and... Uh, this, this is not Diablo 3. Right, exactly. This is not an easy game. Um, so... Yeah, you got to just super be careful about all that stuff. But here we go. You can get in there. You can drop across. <laughs> nope. Nope. There we go. Nope. Just grab that gold in town, by the way, while you're here, David. Also, one point in resist lightning from the paladin can do a lot right here, just for the future. Oh, good point. We'll do. Just as like a small. Okay, guys, let's run. We're yep. being right. timed. Grab your stuff. Grab your gold. One fifty-eight. Thirty-minute act three. Not bad. And let's go. Act four time. So sorceress. Um, well, Paladin, you can just run out and start running while the Sorceress is getting all of her stuff. Put your points and teleport, remember? Yep. Um, so Sorceress, go get greater mana potions, and now you can start teleporting without having to run in between. Also, other people, if you need to drop some gold for the Source, she might need some gold. It looks like she does. Guys, did you get a gold from the previous act from town? Sorceress. Oh, what the fuck? I did. Language. Sorceress, okay. please grab a Tome of ID. That would be helpful as well. Thank you. And pick up gold so, that's on and... the ground, and then get greater manas and greater healings. One greater healing. Can you kill them here? It. Okay. And then greater manas for the rest of it. Perfect. Wow. Okay. So we went right. I mean, from the entrance, you can go left. Yeah. There's only like a three exits from here, right? 
Uh, yes, three I exits. Remember. And so, yeah, so go ahead and drop a, drop a TP, Assassin. TP, TP, please. Assassin's oh, sure. gonna be closest. Okay, we go and... there too. Perfect. Okay. And now Sorceress start teleporting, and your goal is to just start teleporting towards whatever exits you can. Remember, you shouldn't need to stop on, and run now between your teleports. If you do, your man is going to regen too fast. You're not going to get all the benefit out of it. So you actually want to be constant teleporting. Oh, you found visual. Drop a TP for He's everybody. Well. TP. Okay. And go ahead and do some statics on, on him if you can. Frost Nova and then some statics. Right. Open it Tell me when you joined. Everybody go through TP Wait. for visual. Wait. Everybody go through TP for visual. Yep, we're here. Okay. I'm here at least. And also, if you have gold on you, drop gold for this sorceress. She needs some gold. Okay, and there you go. Get some statics. Perfect. And don't tank sorceress, please. Your, your static range is massive. There, don't worry. Yeah, your static range is massive. Remember, you can stand back a little bit. Okay, you, you dropped some gold. Uh, wait, I'll want. give you a mine. Like, there you go. There's some gold. Okay, now keep going forward. I got to right talk to this guy. And once again, you're you're really killing yourself with this run between your teleports just like teleport hold down the right button okay and then press a mana potion and keep holding down this right button you're killing yourself because you're not actually teleporting and you're letting your mana regen in between so it's just math it's screwing you over you're getting one third of the benefit of these mana potions from it right you want to be teleporting with them constantly also, your uh, armor is off, so you should have your armor on as well. But yeah, you need to be <laughs> you need to be teleporting constantly, like because it's gonna it's gonna basically keep your mana potions in limbo, right? It's gonna be constantly regening, okay. but also but not. What's like the rate of it, drinking? Your whenever it comes off, but. You never want your mana to hit maximum, basically. You want it to always be hovering okay. with the blue, like it's still trying to fill, but you're teleporting fast enough to keep it from filling. That's where you should be. The only time it should max out is when you have a crit potion, which you can't avoid, and so you're just going to max, and then you just you know teleport some, and then you're good. So go ahead and yep, TP around here, and find yourself the waypoint. And try and like, I, I mean, I know this is a little tough, but try and cover as much ground here as you can to see without always going directly to walls. But remember, like we talked about before, you're gonna, there you go. Okay, so drop a TP for everybody there, whatever. And then flame. now River of Flame. So you're just gonna go straight across. So here you can even open up your inventory yeah. and do that long teleport and just go straight across so first you want to start teleporting and then you want to open your inventory up so we'll, we'll have to work on that nope you need to spread your cursor oh, okay we need to work on that so okay, you start teleporting then you open your inventory then you move your cursor while continuing to hold teleport further okay okay come on Kyle. let's go down let's 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 kill stuff here yeah, so go ahead and stick with the group, and we can get your body, and then you can try it again. Oh, you had 149 gold. I will leave it there for you to pick up. <laughs> yeah, and obviously dying less will equal everybody has more gold in the future. So as we get better, then more gold will be available. Okay. Did you die again? TP, please. Okay, there you go, that River of Flame TP, yep. Get your body. Okay. Carol, you know what? Let's just Cast walk there, come armor. on. It's fine, it's fine. Well, he's lear learning to teleport. Yeah, they can all... Yeah, You're exactly. behind me, Carol. So now, get all your potions in. 
And now you're going to start teleporting and then open your inventory and immediately move your cursor to the like top of, of the, you know, whatever direction you need with all of that. Shit. So okay. inventory though, yeah. There you go. Yep, you had it. Good. Perfect. And now you're always going to want to go. Yeah, so you got forge. So drop a TP now. Okay, so now everybody the go. Forge, Every, everybody TP go on TP. Forge. Yeah, everybody go on that TP. Careful. Um, yeah, exactly. Perfect. Cool. And then just frost nova everything for your team. And do some statics and whatnot. Good. So yeah, that's how you do it right there. So you don't you don't have to do too much of that um, right now. You know, it's something that you can learn, but it can be helpful for when okay, you're just I'm pure on the waypoint. Okay, get that waypoint. Drop a TP. Go join your team. Go to Forge and Sorceress. If you want to go ahead and go to that River of Flame waypoint now, now that Hephaestus is static down, you can go ahead and teleport forward um, into the Chaos Sanctuary and get your potions first if you can. And so wait, gold. I'll do the I'll do the quest. So I'll leave your team, right? Yeah. So you do the quest, and then. So. Sorceress is going to go through Carol's TP. Fire Druid, yep, should be. Uh, did they reset it? Okay. Nope. Uh, wait, why'd you leave party? Oh, oh, oh. Join the party. So Wait, why Why should I leave party? Like I, I the river it. of flame waypoint. Yes. Who has I work confused here. So I just did the quest. Oh, no. I need some gold, please. Yeah, why'd you leave the party? You're why? supposed to stay in the party. Hey, wait. I miss you. <laughs> We're not trying to, like, farm these runes or anything. Just just be in the party. Because uh, now you only got one of every gem because you did the quest. If you would have been in the party, you would have gotten three or four of every gem. What? Yeah, it drops a gem per person for each of the, the types. So you, the only thing is you only get okay, one rune, true. but once again, we're not farming runes. We don't care about these runes. Ah. Uh, okay, so my mistake. Yeah. So, because that would have been really nice here. gold to have, you know, four perfect gems, four perfect or eight flawless or six, whatever. Oh right. Jesus! I never, I never thought, I, I never knew. Oh good. Um. So yeah. So also you'll you'll want to give that my like TP. topaz and whatever stuff. Okay, you're also out of town portals, I think, sorceress. Yeah, just as a heads up. I can drop you some. So uh -huh. everybody go into the chaos and then you can uh Yeah, exactly. He was trying to preserve the quest for his friends. It was a nice gesture, but don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not what we want to do. Um okay. So now everybody go back to the chaos and go kill the chaos together. What's level checks, by the way? 23. Okay. 24. Okay. So aren't we over leveled right now? Yes, for sure. And that's just because the sorceress wasn't teleporting through. I'm 20. Okay, so source is only 20. So source is still under leveled. But it's because we had a lot of like slow down in that regard yeah when we were dealing with fire immune yep so here you're, we're gonna need um boulder use molten boulder and static field to kill um grand vizier and the the paladin can whack him a little bit i got my oh i have hammers Boom. oh there you go yeah Perfect. Uh, max we can skip it I need some mana to use this hammer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, hammers in the first stage aren't very effective. But I don't have drop mana, some mana anyway. Yeah, drop a couple Thank mana pots. There you go. All right, perfect. Now you'll see not effective. There you go. Look at that. One hammer. Nice. <laughs> okay. 
Perfect. Okay. So yeah. So keep moving. Get that ring mail. That'll be gold. Perfect. Good. Okay. And now go. Um, second one. Okay. Perfect. I have a Tyrol, and I can make a leaf. What's leaf? Uh, oh, that the trap for for plus free fire. Uh... So we just need two socket stuff, right? Yeah, I have it. Yeah, if you want to make the leaf, that could actually be decent for the druid because druid's going to stick fire. And perfect. Good job, Sorcerer. Okay, I got it. That was really good. So now you've popped those seals, so now everybody can go over there and we can kill the last group. Let's go do that. Oh, yeah, we should also kill just ace. Where is everybody at? Uh, we should all be like together here, <laughs> killing the ace. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Good, good, good. And now I'll go over to the final group. Oh, X friend, David. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit useless here. Exactly. Doesn't really do a lot, but probably better for one of the other people to grab it actually because they're going to be a higher level, but then it's like even further away, so probably not. I don't know. No good solution. It's just Why am I kind of tanking again? <laughs> yeah, somebody else be tanking, please. Uh, just Frost Nova. Oh, Make sure you Frost Nova, David. That'll help you a lot whenever you're I in I didn't tough tank, spots. I distracted them. <laughs> Frost Nova and Static. You're going to be the main like damage dealer for this group because you're going to have that Static, and that's just going to be absolutely massive amounts of damage. And you have such a big range on it as well that you don't even have to be close. You know, you can you can be out of harm's way and still Staticking and doing tons of damage. So just make sure you see your your charges actually hitting them. Right, that's the only thing I can say. Be close enough that you can see it because you can tell, yeah. you tell when they get hit. And then you can kind of like learn the range of your static field at that point. And perfect. Good job. And almost dead. There we go. Okay, Diablo time. Good. Okay, I have no mana potions. I don't think I anybody one. does. <laughs> Fresh meat. Thank you, dogs. And, and no money. Let's kill Diablo. Static will be huge here once again. So Frost Nova, and then just like jump, a, drop a bunch of statics. There's a, there's one mana pot, pot in the middle of where he spawned. I just drop it there. David, you don't need to be right on top of him to static field. You keep tanking yourself, no. like for your own. <laughs> you gotta just stand, stand away, man, and then static from afar. There you go. Perfect. Much better. That was beautiful. Good job. All right. 213. That's a 15 minute act four. Not bad. Okay. Let's go get all those items. Go to town. Sell. Make sure you buy potions in act four. Don't buy potions in act five. They're twice the price until you do the first quest. Oh, that's a good one. And people so get gold to your somebody... sorceress because your sorceress has zero gold. And maxing TP. They probably need about 20 grand. By oh, the way. I got TP. Uh, yeah, so put those points into like static. So I got two extra. Yep, static. Let me take my money. Shut up and take my money. There you go. Grab that money, get your potions. If you have something left, you can give it, give me back. You but if you don't, left. I'm going to be fine. I have some, I have some stuff in yeah. my stash. He won't have anything left. That's going to be. For times like this. Always used. What type of gems do I need to um, save? Keep Just diamonds? Di keep diamonds. Yeah, you diamonds. don't need to save anything else really. Rubies as well can be nice though, because you can make a, you can shove them in a helmet for, um, for David, so that he can have like extra life on a helm, um, which is useful. Otherwise though, keep diamonds. You don't need chips or whatever, but you know, like a flawless and up or a diamond and up. David, don't open your inventory. You want to open your character screen now. You're actually shorting your teleport. 
So okay, yes. now I know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> also, turn on your armor. There you go. And now, yep. And then teleport, drop. and then open the character screen up, and then it'll go further. And then, perfect. Drop it. Yeah, I just need to master it. Yep. It's it takes a little bit of time. Um, okay, not quite that TP. You wanted to drop the TP a little bit further. I meant go drop it at Shank, but fill up with potions. Whenever you're like super low on potions in your belt and you're and you're at a safe spot, just go in and just pop some potions in really fast, and then drink yeah, and continue. <laughs> David, like, as a benchmark, we can easily k keep up with you teleporting while killing content. <laughs> okay, and don't drop Thank a Thank you for <laughs> encouragement. Drop a TP that's safer. <laughs> like, you don't want to drop a TP right in the middle of everything. That's a little bit rough for them, right? You want to drop a TP that's a little bit, like, yeah, over there. Exactly. And then let them kill. You don't need to kill this. This is, this is pointless for you. You should be teleporting. All your focus is they'll kill everything. You're getting zero experience, by the way. You're only level 20. So you need okay. to just purely be teleporting. Now your next goal is barbarians. Go to the first barbarians, drop a TP, and then, and then go from there, right? So top right is the way you need to go. And look for barbs. Go down because barbs are probably right there. Yep. And there you go. Drop a TP. And, okay. and now just teleport all the way through. Go right to the crystalline and let them go through your TP. They'll save the barbs. They'll save the, the other future barbs. They know that that's the first section. And so. Guys, they don't can you join me, by the way, in saving these barbs? Yeah, the assassin problem is and that druid, I can't, you should not I can't be just... killing Eldritch. It's literally pointless because, once again, you are not a high enough level to get experience from it. Exactly. So all you guys uh, only, can do. Um, okay, so Chris Line Passage. If you could please place TP outside. Yeah. Okay, my TP. It doesn't really matter if it's inside or outside, honestly. Um, Assassin, you're just like standing in town. You should well, be helping. Well, for me because I almost died. You should be okay, helping. Okay, I need Assassin. I need some money. Oh, well, it's in CT. Okay. Yeah, go grab all that money, David. And now you can buy potions so... in Act 5. It's totally fine because they've done it the first quest. Okay. And then you're going to teleport and get the Crystalline Passage Waypoint because you're going to want to do Anya. Or you can teleport uh, to the Glacial Trail and drop the TP there, and then they can go back and, like, run. So if you feel comfortable doing that, which is probably better. So put on your armor and tr drop a TP and then continue forward. Oh, barbs. Help me! Let us out. So yeah, go to the glitch. So go left to the way you came in. And don't worry about doing long teleports in here. You're, that's not going to be... It's going to be too dangerous to, to try and do it here. So just try and go this way and... Okay, drop a TP at Frozen River. Perfect. And then teleport to the exit. And let them know that you dropped a very spicy TP. Also... Don't keep teleporting into the Dead Lords. <laughs> Make, it that, <laughs> Make it that a lot harder for yourself. I can't see what needed. you're doing, but it must be fun. <laughs> um, yep. So then they can go and do Frozen River once they've seen You got the their river already? Yep. No. They're there, though, but I don't know what happened where they went. Yeah, yep. I got the TP out. Okay, just go okay, into Frozen so... River. You don't need to kill things. Once again... Killing things is pointless right now, you guys. All you want to be doing is moving forward and uh, achieving quest because you're not getting experience. Carol, we need we didn't rescue left, all of them. Left. Come no, back. Other, other way, other way. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going, David? It's left of the way you came in. Nope. Left of the way you came in. You're going mm, right okay. of the way you came left in. Left from the came in. Yeah. There you go. That's your exit. Okay. Let's go straight across. And Assassin is just 
getting destroyed because the team is not there. What is happening? Paladin and Druid, supposed, where are you guys? To be there? Have you guys saved the barbs we yet? We are looking for this last, uh, last five are still oh, uh, gosh. in, in captivated. Okay. okay, we need to be faster with this stuff. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> This is like this, like the one monster left in Den of Evil. We kind of like left them behind. Yeah, so it's probably at that first I grouping, think. right? So when you're at that first block, you need to just run that first block across just to see if there's two in oh, the yeah. same line. Yeah, good. there it is. Okay, so save the barbs. All right, so now let's then... go and help the others. Yeah. Okay, good. Barbs are saved. Go back now. Okay, and everybody Who needs join. Us? Where to I go? Ancient's way. Okay, stop right there. And got just, this time, mate. Yeah, wait. Somebody needs to go and, and go to the the previous waypoint or TP. Do you have one? Nope, at the crystalline. Did anybody set one or anything for Frozen River? Besides. Looks like no. No, okay. See, no, that's I the problem. That's it. why I if did, you run. I quit the game. And... Yeah, that's why you shouldn't quit the game there, right? Like, you got to be really. And this is why it's also important that you guys move together and do things well like that. Because if you're like going off on your own and then dying and quitting, then you're going to lose TPs and all sorts of stuff. So we'll have to go back oh, there's and summit. try and get Anya again. So, yeah. So do Ariat Summit. Once again, killing stuff does nothing. You guys keep killing things. Stop it. It's literally pointless. You are getting zero experience right now killing these things. Guys, come on. <laughs> let's do Ancients. Go do Ancients right now. Can we? Yes. We can. It's everybody's, fast, right? everybody's 20, yes. Every single time that you kill a monster, you are wasting time right now. Because everything in Act 5 is worth zero experience. So it is purely just just a time uh, time burn for no reason. Frost Nova is not going to really do anything for this group. Sorceress, please don't tank. Static, static. Yeah, just static. Just static everything. Run and static. Run and static. And don't let them, like, you see that you're, you've got aggro of two of them right now. So be super careful. Perfect. Okay, so now go forward, get some gold, and while you are, um, let the other team actually run through there because I think they have twenty five. Do they? Is anybody twenty five yet? I'm twenty. You're twenty five. I'm twenty four. I have twenty five. You have twenty five. I... Okay. So yeah. So go ahead and run through, and people give give gold to the sorceress again. Like David, call for gold and just be like, I need twenty grand, whatever it is. Um, cause you need gold badly. Okay. And you need to then go back and teleport and do Anya. Um, or we can just skip through Please Anya. Give if, me you just, gold. if you just want to do a, a normal run right now, just do that. Carol, you have 90 grand. You got to be like given gold early. <laughs> Don't drop it in 5,000. Drop, just drop all 20 grand, man. It's all for the sorcerers. That's Carol. Carol, yeah. you don't need gold at all, dude. You just got to be. I have next level. I have you, level two. You got to be given like Carol, twenty grand at a time, just making it easy. What the hell? So you see, now, now someone is actually looking at what what Carol is doing. So like we had our kind of like a doubts like for the past <laughs> twenty years that he's not a team player. <laughs> and now we know. Thank you for confirming that. Yeah. yeah. So now, now the level 25, like once again, if you were all 25, you could like be killing stuff a lot more, but you also probably would, don't want to be 25 here, but like you can kind of like kill some stuff as you run, but just do it like casually. Don't, don't be like stopping and spending time killing things really here. Just run through, look, find the waypoint. So you want to run uh, counterclockwise in, in level two. I look for waypoint. Yep. So I'll go. I've got something, and it's a way down. Okay, perfect. And we've got waypoint up way here. Point. Perfect. So just set a TP. My... Waypoint and lax. Okay, and then whoever's got waypoint, grab that waypoint. Perfect. Jesus. That's some rough lag. Nice rubber banding. Perfect. Good job, David. Set a TP if you need. Yep, set a TP just for safety purposes. And then get some potions. 
Okay, that was... And, yep, go together as a group. It's okay. The waypoint's already been gotten, so, like, you guys should just be moving forward trying to get the throne. You don't need to all... Also, when you set a TP, you should definitely set it right on the waypoint, just as a heads up. Make it easier for everybody. So you do the frozen river, or...? Yeah, so go ahead and do the frozen river, David. So you're going to teleport through, and you have to be very particular. Set telekinesis to a hotkey, by the way, because you can telekinesis on you from afar. But you're probably going to okay. just drop a TP when you're getting close, when you get the quest log, and then have everybody come in, because otherwise it's, it's pretty di difficult. This is a tough area. So teleport, yep. And then, yep, go there. And then teleport across this wall here. And then go up as well. Teleport across the straight up wall. You can go, you can go across. Nope, you can do it. You can do it. You can jump that wall. Nope, you didn't do it. That's all right. Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight up, straight up. There you go. Now drop a TP. And have some people come help you. Okay. So everybody go help David. He's at... Okay. TP. Please drink a health potion. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, okay. TP. Yep. I'm, in I'm there, but I'm as useful as... Uh, Alright, now whoever's more. in the throne destruction, oh. Carol, you just stay in the throne, okay? Everybody else will do that. You just get thrown and you start clearing that for waves. Okay. Okay, everybody else can come over here and just clear out and they'll do Anya and it'll be fine. Fuck. Don't teleport into Sorry. the middle of Language. <laughs> You gotta work on those teleports. He said pog. And yep, careful. Okay, and then just teleport past and go go save Anya. Once again, killing things doesn't matter here, so like somebody drop a TP. But yeah, then just go save Anya. Go ahead, Anya is safe. Okay, so now go talk, get the, the potion from Mala. Okay, you got to clear out a little bit of that assassin. <laughs> okay, and there we go. She saved. Perfect. Everybody go get your scrolls, and now go join Carol in the throne destruction. Get your potions as well. Perfect. Okay, so... If you I need a body, just safety? quit out. And, yep, quit and come back in, David, to get your body. Party, please. Okay. And perfect. You're fine. You're fine. Just, just go. Just go. Throne. No. Nope. Uh, go to, go to throne. Get a throne TP up. There you go. Okay, so once again, you're going to need boulder, you're going to need hammers, you're going to need stuff. that stuff. Frost Nova is going to be your goal, really, and static, right? Frost and static, frost and static. This is yours, David. So, yeah, on the main guy, don't stand right next to him or he'll put you in hit recovery, but there you go. Get closer to him, though. Get closer to him. You don't care about the minions. All you care about is the main boss because he's the only one that's fire immune. So that's your that's your goal. And then Molten Boulder. Carol. I'll be giving you guys okay, meditation. So for meditation, boulder. you should have... I'm like a... a not Fissure. Right not now Fissure, with. Carol. Molten Boulder. Fissure does zero damage to him. H hammered in. Where's our it's, hammers oh at? Oh, my God. I'll just... Yeah, are we, I'll just are we hammering? Him. Like, we, we... He's fire immune. We can't kill him with fire traps and Fissure. <laughs> so Molten Boulder is half physical, half fire damage. So that's why I say use Molten Boulder um, on him right there. But we should just static and, and then Carol finish it up. Yeah, so I mean now like Carol and and uh, Max are going to massacre everything because nothing else is fire immune for the rest of it. But yeah, you're just staticking all the way down. Hammerden can hammer and then Fissure Druid can or the Druid can Molten Boulder. And then you'll, you're fine right I'm there. just giving you guys mana. Perfect. Don't die, David, please. Yep. Stand back. Do you have to drink more potions, like a mana potions right now, or like you're completely good with mana casters? 
What do you mean? They all look okay. I have this. I have this. No. Frost Nova. Frost Nova. David, is mana sure. recovery. Yeah. Make sure that you get Frost Novas off on these groups. Oh, yeah. You gotta just be like Frost Noving like really quick on this group because they're super fast. Frost Nova and then static, 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 static. Frost Nova, static, 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 static. Just do it like that. And try not to tank any of them, right? Once again, try and always stand apart and let them aggro onto the other players. Okay, last wave. Frost Nova. Statics. Perfect. David, don't tank it. Rip. <laughs> Positioning is very important. We got to work on that a little bit. Oh, double click the screen. Yeah, it happens. Just double click the window again to make it smaller. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so again, you're a very big, you're a very important piece because of your static, right? That's going to be like huge amounts of the damage that's going to be done. So you just need to make sure that you're like always backing up, right? You're casting one too many times right now. And so you're letting them get too close and where they're you're uh, not going to be able to get that hit off language. Um, so you need to, you need to be standing a little further back when you cast all this stuff. Okay. And final one. Perfect. Grab bodies. There we go. All right, and Bale's ready. So just teleport over to the Bale and start static Im immediately, but don't stand right next to him. Give yourself a little space, because once again, you can have some space, David. There you go. So statics. Yep. Not that much space. There you go. Perfect. Good. See? See how far away you can be and still get him? Nice. And there Bam. you go. 232.22 for normal. Now, if you guys want to keep going, let's you can you keep predicted. going. Let's go to cows. Not that bad for a first full normal speed run. Let's go to cows. All right. So whoever has that leg, well, immediately go get potions. Carol, share the wealth. Looks like you already have. Um, and yep, there we go. Sell stuff. And then go to cows immediately. Whoever has the leg, go and make it. I do. Okay. So what's the goal here exactly? So like for cows, are we like... Uh, Getting everybody to 25. For... And finding okay. a broadsword. Finding a crystal sword. Um, finding a weapon that is ah, I mean yeah I guess you could if you want to you could give it to the paladin yeah, but he's going to want the shield mm, this is a tough one um, if you want you can try and find some sort of like act 2 mercenary weapon that you could make an insight in a pole arm of some sort um, mm -hmm. or you can have um, like you know looking for like pally shield stuff but really, it'd, it'd be like All right. pole, pole arm and um, swords, crystal sword, broadsword, long sword in that order. And don't kill the king, please. Is... Oh, yeah. Okay. But mostly we're here for you, David. Come on. Sell that, David. But yeah, David, you're like you're, the experience. David, yeah. FCR is all you care about right now on that. And we're going to get you a spirit sword hopefully soon. So yeah, go back. Perfect. And let's follow the the damage people. Oh, so that's like everyone is damaged except of me. So like, whoa. Oh, Soul I... rune. Okay, so yeah, so you can oh, make uh, you can make an insight. So there's a crystal sword, but it's socketed. If it's ethereal, it's okay though. Okay. Unfortunately, it's like three sockets. So yeah. So you cannot find it for open sockets. You can find it max three open sockets. So you either want to find it white or ethereal. And then you use the socket quest. Oh, okay. And then you're good to go. 
Okay, don't kill the king. King is right there. Please run here. away. Please yeah. run away. Please run away. Okay. Yeah. And just keep your eyes open for broadsword, long, er, long sword, and crystal sword. Oh, ring. I'm old McDonald had a farm. Old McDonald had a farm. Eo. Carol probably have already like a million gold. His farm. He had a cow. I O. I O. Doll and with a moo moo here and a moo moo there here a moo. Also things like plate mail and stuff, right? Just get gold. Old McDonald had a farm. Eo. I O. Doll. We just we just want gold. There's a topaz up there, right? You're gonna find lots of gems. You're gonna find lots of amies and rings and jewels and armors and all sorts of stuff. This is a great place to just get gold because you guys need it. Completely agree. Crystal sword. White. Crystal sword, perfect. Yeah. Okay, grab the white crystal sword. Give that over to the sorceress. Or whoever whoever has it, that's fine. Whoa! Just keep it for now. Right here. Some 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 awesome item dropped. No, it's but just Carol trash. Got it. Just sell it. We'll never see it again. It's trash. Just sell it. Unless you want five extra whatever, you know, max res and stuff, but who cares? Um, okay, so yeah, so you got the crystal sword, that's really good. So now Amrune is your next goal. Um and and uh yeah, and then when you have that also, Carol, you're going to start, or not Carol, um, David, you're going to be all strength from now on because you want to get up to 43 strength for that crystal sword. Okay. Also, you have Tyr Ral, and since we're going to, remember to be careful about King, since we're going hey, why, to be... Why are we going to next, next to King? Yeah. Since we're going to be um, continuing with fire, don't teleport too much in here, David, it's dangerous. Since we're going to be continuing with fire for the druid, then make sure that he has a two open socket staff with leaf. I don't know if Carol has leaf yet, but if he does not, then we can we want him to get leaf. I think he has the leaf. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So then keep going. For sure, Jitter. Okay. Make sure to pop stashes and chests and all sorts of things because there's just even more gold hiding in all of that. Rings, ammies, things like that. You want to grab all ring ammies because we still yeah. don't have max FCR for our source, right? We're still looking for more FCR pieces. Yeah, I'm just avoiding cows. <laughs> and we want to be able to get up to our 63 FCR um breakpoint that's going to be our important one Okay, let's keep killing cows. What level are you, David? Are you 22? 23. 23? Okay, perfect. So when you hit 25, we're done with cows for now. Um, oh, we never grabbed the stony field waypoint. That was my bad. Okay. Yeah, we'll want to have someone, probably the paladin, run back and grab stony field waypoint at the start. And then okay, that so way you can do some but, more cows. But in the, the future. That's also a question of what do we do next? Because like, are we pushing this forward? Like, since because now we should probably after reaching twenty five, what 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 would be the plan? Like Experience. to do some bow runs or something yes. like this? Yes. Yeah. So, so you maybe want to do cow and that, bale that, runs. That, uh, cow because you're looking for your crystal sword and you're looking for your amrune, and then bale runs for the experience, obviously. Oh wait, so you can drop um here on cow runs? Yes. You already found a soul rune. Soul rune's higher than amrune. Yeah, is. I was about to ask. Isn't it better to? Isn't it better to do some contest rounds for no. that? But it, you should do it in in uh, in nightmare. Yeah, I mean you could do nightmare contest runs, but it's gonna be rough, and it'll be better to do some like cows while you're doing. So basically, what you want to do is you want to have like one group kind of go and do some cows, like so all three of you do cows while David technically is teleporting to the throne of destruction when he gets there you can have like one of the people like the druid come over or something and you can have um 
druid plus um you know sorceress clearing like waves one two blah blah blah, whatever and then you can have everybody come join up because at that point the cow should be mostly cleared and so that's kind of how you'll probably want to be looking to do it but okay so you killed the cows so now let's uh quit out of this game and create a new game and then we'll do um while david goes for um the countess or not countess uh make a normal game yeah while david goes for the throne um everybody else can go for stony field get the waypoint yeah so carol go ahead and okay carol's getting the waypoint right now i guess um and then you can get the leg and do all that stuff so yeah if, if one of you will create a new game i guess Okay, I have luck. Okay, so Carol's gonna get a leg right now to bring over. Okay, Wait, are you I'm in the game? In the game. Carol's in the old game, still. He's just oh, grabbing okay. it from that previous game. So somebody created. What a new anyone game. created a game or? Oh, I just created. Uh, what's the name? Because we don't see uh, Run. normal games. R U N. And uh, okay. yeah, so now start going and leveling up. Cows open. And perfect, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, God, David, please don't sell in Act 1. Yeah. Yeah. Do you... Oh, yeah. shit, I sold everything in Act 1. So, like, you're supposed to not sell it in Act 1, right? No, it's worth yeah, 25 grand in Act 1. Yeah, I figure it after the five. second item. <laughs> it's only worth 5 grand in Act 1. Yeah. So, what's the. Do you David, go to Act you... 4 or 5? Uh, yeah, I guess we need to, right party. now. So, so right now, everybody's yeah needs to party, but then do cows still because David's not twenty five yet. So we need to let first. We're just getting to level twenty five before we do anything else. Um, we drop um. You got Amrin? Nice. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Okay, remember your all strength, David. By the way, I didn't. I don't know if you put it in there, but just as a reminder. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we should kill everything here. So now you guys honestly don't even need to do any more cow runs. You have the crystal sword. You have the Amrun, So you're good. So at this point, you can it's totally just, just, David, uh, just do David's bail level. runs if you really wanted. Yep. Grab that bone wand up there, David. Still up there. And then just yep, together, kill everything. Perfect. One more level. One more level. Yep. Ho, ho, ho. Another great item. If anybody has anything... Ah, well, no, never mind. Because we'll still be a little bit. Um, so... One day I'll work. Paladin, what level are you? Oh, second crystal sword. You're what? 26? Yeah, I'm 26. Okay. And if, we have a second crystal. So if, you'll go to act, if you'll go to Act 2 um, and get some large shields, some white large shields, and then bring them to Act 5 and drop them, um, go ahead and get three of them. Uh, two of them, sorry. One for the sorceress one for yourself and then use a socket quest uh do i want to save yours for the pally shield maybe we'll save yours it doesn't matter it's team yeah go ahead and use the socket quest on one of those large shields uh, and if you find a, th a three open socket large shield then that works as well right obviously you can just buy that uh, but you, you the goal is to I'll get a couple it. shields uh don't kill king don't kill king please <laughs>
Okay, David's halfway, over halfway to 25. Oh, uh, next Christian sword. <laughs> Dang, so many drops. Probably won't need three. Also, if you do get we'll have a, to wait. if you get a two open socket helm, you can make Ort Soul and make a lore helm, and that could be good to give to your assassin or druid. I'd give it to your assassin personally, um, just for a little extra damage. So, if you if anybody finds a two open socket helm, we'll, ha we'll have too many spirits. <laughs> that's a pro that's a problem. Uh, do we have a Thol rune yet? We got one. You have Thol? Mm hmm. I think it dropped during last car round. Oh. It's Am. Um... That was Am rune that I remember. So it's fine. And we can morph three orts together and make a Thol rune. So that we'll just have to do that. Okay. David is very close to 25. If you guys go and do, uh, do go to like the Travancle. Go to Travancle. Or maybe Shank and uh, Eldrich. No, he it doesn't give experience really prior to 25. Yeah, let's go into Travi. So go to Travancle. Oh, I don't have waypoint. Does anybody have it? Do you guys have waypoint? Because I do. Okay, just go, just go, just go. Curse dogs. Shit, I'm selling it. stuff in Act 1. Oh and, boy, and... yeah. Always save it. Always save it for Act 5. Okay, and everybody go. Travancore, perfect. Okay, Paladin, go get those shields. You don't have to join for this. You're right. Uh, the shield you were referring to was um, large any big shield from uh, large shield from Act Two, Far, right? Uh, yeah, Far Act Two. Okay, probably need a little bit All more right. experience to just go into the Durance, you guys, and just like move together in the Durance and and just get that final bit of experience because David's like so close. So just yeah, you three go down. Okay, and just. Go, 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 go. Go get the experience. Go find, like, a, a group. What are you guys doing? Assassin. Druid. Oh, Druid's left. Okay, Assassin, yeah. Assassin and Source, that's fine. Just go Trust kill, like, kill like one group and you're fine. What are you doing, David? Just... <laughs> you're running around. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. So go back to town. Go to Act 5. Go get potions. Wait, I'll drop it. Go do... Wait, wait in Act 5. I'll drop you guys a shield. Yeah. Okay, and then David, go one, ahead and... Two shields. Perfect. Grab one of those shields. Uh, why if we, we, we found sockets? Use a socket quest on we it. We can reset the act. Using the and, socket quest. Uh, we can buy it. You can shop it, but it takes time. We're speed running. Go ahead and use the socket quest. David, on that large shield. <laughs> That's a good point. If you want to save your socket quest, then you can waste a few minutes and just not use your socket quest right here. Right? Okay. And you can, like, shop in Act 2 over and over again until you find large shields that are fine. That is a way to do it in the future on characters that you actually maybe care about and want to do a lot of stuff with. Until then, just do this. Okay, Ralort Tal in your shield, David. And um, I have one with three sockets if someone needs. Ral or Tal in that order. And the assassin should also be doing that as well. Okay, there's your ancient's pledge. Perfect. Um, yep, there's a three open socket kite shield, so you can give that to someone else. Everybody go get your runes from uh, Kwakek. And then drop the three Ort runes together so we can make a Thol rune. We're going to cube the three Ort runes together from everybody that wasn't the sorceress. And make the Thol and then 
Tau, Thol, or Am, right? So, I can oh, I guess we're, we're, we're still short in Ort. Do we have any extra Orts that we found along the way? Yep. Okay, perfect. Three Orts on the Orts on the ground, an Amrun for sorcerers. Uh, okay. Drop the Tal, drop the Orts, the Thol, and the Amrun. Perfect. And then whoever has that crystal sword, go use the socket quest on it to make it four open sockets. Assassin, you've got that. Yeah. I... Okay, so go use your socket quest on it. Okay, and then drop that. Okay, and now somebody morph those into a Thol rune. In their cube, please. Thank you. And David, go ahead and pick up the crystal sword. And then pick don't up all those runes. And don't mess it up. Tal, Cole, Ort, Am. Tal, yep, just put it in. There you go. Thol. Thol. Thol, there you go. Yep. Ort, am. <laughs> All right, what is it? It is 31. Okay, you can't use it yet. You need a little more strength. Uh, does anybody have yeah. plus to strength charms or anything? David is one strength short. Yeah, we messed it up. It's fine. He just needed to do strength a little earlier, but that's okay. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll oh, just... I have the one strange. Perfect. So drop it on the ground, David. Grab it. Put your thing on. Make sure you do one more strength, though, and then good to go. Okay, and drop that 10 FCR for the Paladin if, if they want that. Okay, and now, uh, David, go ahead. You are teleport. So teleport us to Bale. I can give you a waypoint if you don't have. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I gave. There you go. Okay, grab waypoint. And right of the waypoint. Make sure you put your armor on, by the way. <laughs> and then right of the <laughs> waypoint. Ios, 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 Ios. <laughs> go, go, go. Wear your clothes, man. Don't That's teleport right. into groups of monsters. That's right. There you go. Perfect. Good job. Good. And level three, you just got to search like a madman. Dead end. Yep. Another dead end. Yep. And then everybody else just kind of wait patiently for his TP. And like I say, normally this would also be a, a time where you guys could be doing a little bit of cows, right? If if you guys um, didn't already have everything you need. But we have Throne Destruction right here. So uh, I think it totally works to just go ahead and do this now that you've got all your stuff. TP up. Perfect. Okay, let's go. And then there you go. Now we just do some veil runs and we can level up a bit. And then, um, so we'll do this for the next, you know, few levels. And then uh, we'll start like respecting some characters once we get around, you know, 30 and, and, and beyond so, and stuff, right? So you can keep putting into teleport right now, David. That's fine. And then. Um, yeah, you'll go for Conviction Aura, right? We'll do that. Respect for you, uh, Martin. And then Max, I would say respec around like 36 or something. Re you'll probably respec around um, Act 2 or 3 of, of Nightmare. So... For how long should we stay here on Balrans, like in your opinion? Like what would be 
Right. So this what this, would be the kind of like a this kind of return point. Right. Like you can always do, you know, like what we do is we just send the sorceress off on her own at this point. She just teleports through nightmare while the rest of the team excuse me, does experience and all of this. Um obviously you guys want to all level up together. So you know, I, I think staying here until thirty 334 something like that's totally fine david don't tank please um you should be like really far back david you should never be that close to any of the stuff right you're a sorceress with a massive static range you don't need to be in there um so yeah yeah there you go like back here a little bit closer if you need but not much at all yeah exactly perfect um so good 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 so don't kill Bale, just go next And does it make game. sense to kill Bale? Nah. No, right? Yeah, just go next game. Next game. Oh, I'll make a game. Bale one. Okay, perfect. Ha, <laughs> memories. Perfect, memories. So yeah, so you know, you can go to low to mid 30s here, I would say, if you really want to. Um, just to get a little bit more damage and make Nightmare and stuff a little bit easier. And then that'll also give you time to get your respects in, right? So then you can have all that stuff. And perfect. Carol's got the right idea, which is, you know, go kill Shank, go kill Eldritch, go do, like, those kind of monsters right now just to get a little bit of experience. And when you when it comes to, like, a respecting Paladin right now, because, like, after I reach, like, a 30, I'll go, um, I'll go for conviction. Um, conviction. Correct. And what about the rest? Like, Holy what, shield. What about the rest of my build? So um, it's like a conviction holy shield type of... Yeah, with, with summon vigor and summon salvation. So you're going to max your holy shield probably because you just have a lot of points early that you yeah. can spend pre-conviction. Um, otherwise, um, yeah. So seven vigor, four salvation, prerequisites, max holy shield, max conviction is probably your build. But always focus on more points in conviction whenever you can, right? That's like your number one priority. Yeah. And then beyond so that. So for, for me, it's kind of like at the moment I hit 30, I immediately respect. Like, you know, just everything. Yeah. Because all the points I have right now right. are wasted are, into just wasted. some kind of like a yep. nonsense. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, you'll you'll respect right at 30. Because then you get conviction and it instantly increases the damage of everybody. Okay. And TP thrown throne up. is up. Yep. So everybody get in thrown. RT. So, party, party, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And then, yep, there you go. See you, sir. Okay, so if, uh, so we know how to respect, mm -hmm. and then we just re like so like, and then we just repeat this for like the same type of similar concept for next difficulty level for nightmare. Uh, I mean, it gets but a will lot it be different. different? <laughs> no, not really. Like it will be different because it because it uh, like it it should be all sorceries like going right. places. Right. And so that's generally how it's going to go, right? Once you get to Nightmare, you're going to have... And if you do want to stick around with the Sorceress, getting experience as well. That's one of the things, right? Is It's very easy to send the Sorceress off to not get experience. But if you do want that, then you can have the Source just kind of like hang out. Maybe be like slightly underleveled. Um, but, you know, you can just teleport. You know, she can teleport to Indario really fast and then everybody can come to Indario sort of stuff right like act one is yeah. it takes a few minutes to get there honestly if the sorceress just does it right and teleports right um so you know you just do that stuff and then and then you're you're good 
right? Everything's totally fine there. And, um, for you. and then, yeah, so more bail runs and then just kind of teleporting. Everybody else can kind of like run around, like do the den of evil and nightmare while the sorceress teleports to Indariel. You know, you just kind of like do that stuff. Um, and then you're going to be fine. But yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of teleport and, and, uh, you know, she teleports to Plains of Despair. You guys kill Isual while she teleports forward, right? She teleports, right? It's just kind of like all of those things. She teleports you to a quest. You guys do said quest. And she teleports to the next part of it. And then when you get to the chaos, when you get to the tombs, when you get to the, um, you know, bail runs, then you all join up together and spend a lot of time together gaining that experience back and you can level up a lot together right there. But everything else is just kind of the in between. Okay, this makes sense. So it's 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 now it's 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 a question of like we've made tons of mistakes along the way. Oh, so it's probably sure. it's, instead of doing this we could just go go over like you know like some kind of like a key takeaways in terms of what uh, what should we do differently or what what should be done better. Yeah. So if you guys want to, gold. If you want to pause you here, think, I like, don't know. Like based on based on the skill set, kind of like a low skill level of mm -hmm. what you just saw. Uh, like, you know, like so, let's say we've ended up on two hours thirty minutes. Yep. Uh, so for me, it's already super fast. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, like where uh, like how much can we shave off this and uh, by by doing or not doing what? Like, that, that's my question. Right. Okay. So, everybody, just go ahead and go to town and pause. Um, yeah. And, uh, and then we can we can just sit and chat and uh, kind of talk through um, each, each person's roles, how they did, where things were, mistakes, things like that. Right? So, Carol, quit killing Pindle. <laughs> go to town. <laughs> Oh, rock place, nice. Good gold. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start. I'll start with David because he's in my top left. So, like I said, David has, has the hardest role because it's the sorceress and you have a lot of the... You just have to do a lot of the carrying of all of the map knowledge, all of the teleporting. You're very fragile. You don't do damage all of that stuff, but you're also needed for static and Frost Nova. And, and, you know, so you have a lot of like crowd control, things like that. Um, biggest things for David, one, you got, you have to kind of be a leader and be very vocal about give me gold. I need 20 grand. I need whatever, like all of this stuff, because you're doing, you're carrying a lot of these loads for this and you're doing a lot of the teleporting and all of that stuff. So you need to be very vocal with that stuff. Um, you also shopped way too many times and your shopping was poor. So now look at your shopping, it's great, right? You have like the perfect ratio right now. This is how your ratio should almost always be. One health to three mana, your inventory, fu inventory full of one health to three mana. You have your Tome of ID, you have your Tome of TP, you have your, right. Now you kind of have things organized, but for a majority of this run, you had not, you just had a lot of like 25 health potions in your inventory, taking up all of these slots and like crap like this. And so that was just causing you issues. You never were filling all the way up on potions either. You were always like one round, then you'd run out of gold and then you would try and go teleport for a little bit and then run out and then run around and try and find one thing to sell, you know, like, just just yell at your druid, um, right? And say, give me gold or whatever. <laughs> so that'll be um, one thing there. Uh, but otherwise, I thought it was pretty good. Obviously, working on your teleporting skills is going to be super helpful um, as that's that was something that, like, you just, you know, it, it just takes practice and time. But being able to teleport faster than your team can run is pretty important. Um, and so you have to get used to 
teleporting with each kind of potion, right? Teleporting with a light potion versus a mana potion versus a greater mana potion, how you need to teleport with each one to get the maximum amount of value, and then being able to teleport with your character and inventory screens open, um, all of that stuff is going to help improve your speed and time a lot. Um, but otherwise, great job. I mean, you did really well. And then, um, you know, early on, or one of the last thing I'd say was not dying so much because you lose gold every time you die and, and you lose experience and time. And that really is brutal. Um, so you just have to really focus on your positioning, making sure you're far enough away from stuff and that you're frost no being effectively so that you're not getting hit. Because the more you get hit and die, the longer it's going to be. It's just going to take a while. And putting on my frozen armor. And putting your frozen armor on, yes, that'll save you as well. Um, and then, you know, getting your stats at the right time, but that's fine, you know, small. Uh, Martin, I thought you did well. The big thing I would say is you needed, you kept trying to run ahead, and then you would kind of like block yourself into dangerous areas, and obviously you can't do anything to get out of them because you don't have any damage. Um, and so. I would say sticking more next to your druid is going to be very important for you throughout a lot of this run. You, right now, you're just yeah, makes sense. You're just along for the ride until your conviction comes along, essentially, right? I mean, it's just the like natural state of it. You could also be a barbarian. You could right whatever the support character is. They don't do a lot of damage. They don't do a lot early on, but then you're gonna have a nice addition later. Um, and so try and just be next to them a little bit more, I would say, and then we can get conviction aura and then that'll help a lot. Um, and you know, that's, I think that's the big thing. I'm also debating, maybe we change your character out to someone who, who does a little bit more damage, but like we could throw like a, a, Javazon, who plays Exploding Arrow until she gets Charge Strike and stuff in your slot if we really want to. Um, but we also haven't gotten to see the effects of the Conviction Aura yet, which is going to be huge. And I think I do like having you as a Paladin because, one, there is Vigor Aura to help out a little bit with speed, but additionally, like, Salvation and stuff is probably going to be pretty clutch later on. So in the future... You're going to run Conviction, but then when you get... There's souls nearby, or there's dangerous areas, run the cat, whatever it is, you know, you can pop Salvation yeah. on in those I think times. so, too. I think that this Paladin is built for Hell, not for Normal and exactly. Nightmare, right? Like exactly. Like, that's, that, that's what I'm... Uh, it's even built for I'm going to be doing the same thing, means nothing, but uh, I'm going to yeah. be useful later on. <laughs> yeah, it's you're not built for Normal, but you're built for Nightmare and Hell, for sure. Um, so, yeah. So, other than that... Um, trying to think with some stuff. Uh, yeah, I felt like, I felt like the biggest thing was I felt like you got separated off from your druid a lot and got yourself in tough situations. Um, and then that leads to tricky spots. So, and then as a support character, maybe just look up, look to pick up a couple more support role pieces somehow. So what are ways that you can um help you know maybe like getting mana potions set out for your sorceress or things like that just you know uh, so we can look at those things in the future um max the biggest thing i would say for you was um i mean i felt like you did really well for a majority of this run the biggest thing was sometimes you weren't there when there really needed to be damage <laughs> yeah you know, you were in town, like, running around or shopping or looking at items or doing whatever. And, like, and then additionally, you would push forward without, you would leave your sorceress behind and push forward too much. And so you ended up over-leveling your sorceress, right? And that just like, led us to having to wait for the source to catch up in the cows and all of this stuff. Um, so we need to make sure that, like, you're sticking closer to her calling out boss groups more for her and town portals and, and all of that to get her there to get the experience that we need. Um, otherwise, I thought you played pretty well with it, uh, and that was good. And then Carol, 
Um, going with you and Martin, I thought you guys did great with your tomb runs. I just kind of let you guys go and you gained experience and it was fantastic. And the other two needed to like speed up a little bit during that time. Um, the biggest thing I would say for you is you got to talk and be a team player here. You're definitely uh, a strong player, but you're also a very individual player. And so there were times where you would just kind of like run forward without your paladin. There were times when you would just go off and, you know, kind of do your own thing and not shout it out and not tell the team. Um, you had 90,000 gold when your sorceress had zero, uh, you know, things like that. And so be, you know, like work with your team more. Because even if you're leveling up and killing stuff and doing all this, these great things, it's going to mean nothing if your team is six levels behind you and, and you just have to eventually stop and wait for them, you know? So if you can work with the team better there, that's going to really help um, speed everything up overall. And uh, It's like we've been telling him that for a long, long time. <laughs> he seems like he, you know... He just... He just used to do tele for the last 20 years, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and go. now he decided to go with Druid, and <laughs> someone has to learn to tele from the start, from scratch. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, was, me. I was honestly going to say, I, you I feel like... You did pretty well for the first time teleporting. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I was honestly going to say, I think Carol would actually do decent on the Sorceress, just because... He seems like a, you know, this, the sorceress has to be kind of an independent character for a lot of times when she goes off and teleports on her own. And so that's kind of, you know, a little bit easier for that character to go do. Um, and they're also more reliant on the other characters, which I think could be good for Carol, not having a character that's so dominant. Because, you know, if, if, if they have such a strong character, then they don't need the help of anyone else. But, like, if you're a sorceress, you do no damage except static and frost. Uh, so you can teleport around a lot, but then, like, you need someone to kill things for you. And you need people to help give you gold and those things. So it's, like, forced interaction. So, you That'd know, it could, could be fun to, like, trade characters around and just see, like, you know see how other people's characters have to deal with things and whatnot, or just focus on your own characters and get really strong and go with that, you know? So uh, when it comes to like, when it comes to like, if, um, what should we aim? Like, like if we're doing two hours, 30 minutes right now, yeah. like uh, what should we aim for? At what point should we say like, okay, like we, we, we got some kind of like a from noob level to some kind of like a mid tier. I mean, I feel like 2.30 is already, already plenty solid. Um, you know, that's a good time for sure. Like, Act 1, we had probably 10 minutes easy we could have saved. Act 2, we, we needed... How would you save? How would you save 10 minutes out of Act 1? Um, uh, we were... I think... A lot of shopping. Of, yeah. A lot of shopping in Act 1. And just, like, mixing and matching all of that... Um, yeah, we just, like, weren't getting very organized with those things. And then, like, in the catacombs, everybody was running together instead of splitting into our teams to try and find things faster. Um, just those things. I think we can save 10 minutes okay. just from better coordination and less shopping. Um, act 2, obviously, we, we ran the Claw Viper three times. Um, so that, <laughs> that was some time to be saved right there. And then, um, just experience in general, uh, as well, you know, getting the source just 18 faster and, and things, um, you might have to spend a little more time, you know, doing like tomb runs and stuff together, but like get your 18 together doing that stuff and it'll be a lot faster. Um, and being just coordinated there act three four and five having a, the teleport sorceress teleport better is going to improve so much time right like that, that's just plain and simple when you get through act three and you have a sorceress who just gets you to all of your locations and in no time at all and drops a tp and moves on you just save tons of time doing that right we had 30 minutes in act three and it could have been 10 minutes like they the druid and paladin over leveled a ton because they just had time to do every single tomb because you know there was just so much time there 
So that's just stuff that, you know, as the sorceress teleports faster, that'll speed up. Act 4 was 15 minutes. I mean, you can get that down to 5 easy, but, um, you know, 15 is totally fine as well. Uh, make sure that we, you know, do the party killing of the, 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 the forge um, and just teleporting faster and, and shopping and, and all of that. And then Act 5 was 19 minutes, which honestly is pretty good. Um, so, you know, let's see. Uh, just the teleporting a little bit again. We had some issues with, like, Frozen River. Yeah, so River teleporting and... it's a, it's a, it definitely would be a big thing. Yeah. So we just have to make sure that we have skills to teleport. Because I remember, like, in Act uh, in Act 4, mm -hmm. uh, like, the Frozen River. No, like, this kind of, like, a River of Flames. Yeah. River of Flames. The, like we run through this stuff right, right? Like exactly the, one, like so, some of the things we, we run through instead of tele exactly or something like that would like i, I remember this this, this thing so this like so shopping so, means that we need to be coordinated not doing of uh, um, this vapor runs right vapor runs so and if then, you look at and like then teleport. My, if you look at my screen let me do i have a sorceress here we go so if you look at my screen and what do I have for gold? Oh God, I have nothing. Uh, sure. Right. Let me just really quickly like grab a couple potions, but I have very little gold. So we'll just try and do this and call it good. So your act four should look a lot like this, right? And I don't have um, much gold and many mana potions, but like, I'll come out here, I'll check down here first. Okay, we've got it. Okay, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check. I need mana. God, I have no FCR. And then I'll check this way. And I'll check this way. And then I'm like looking for Ishul while I'm doing this. And when I find or I Ishul was in the last one, but whatever. Okay, there's my city. Cool, like I drop that TP for the group. And then I'm just doing this. And I'm oh, just teleporting connect. across. Yeah. Waypoint, drop a TP. There you go, everybody. So now the group can get the waypoint. Now I'm into the Chaos Sanctuary. I'm up to the first seal. And, you know, whatever. And I drop my TP here and we're good, right? So, like, cool. All right. Hey, we got first seal up and ready. And and that would be, Yeah, that's you know, probably faster. And so that's, like, a minute and a half instead of, like, ten minutes or whatever, right? So it's just, like, that having a sorceress that just goes through it really quickly is so much of the speed for, for those later acts and for everything from the this point forward, which is why I say having... Um, having that sorceress be your your strongest player or really good at teleporting and map knowledge and all of that helps a ton because everything from you know the end of act two forward is sorceress getting to places and then dropping tps for everybody to come in so okay that's kind of eye-opening so, anyways, yeah. I mean, overall, though, 2.32, you said, what, five hours was your, like, normal time, you thought? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's already, like, half your normal time, and I think you guys can get, you know, sub two hours easy here. And I think that's a pretty good time to aim for as well, you know? Aim for sub two hours first, and then go for, like, a 145, then go for, like, a 130, and, you know... And then you know, I'd I'd be I'd be super happy to see you guys around like one thirty to one forty. So sub so sub two hours, so sub two hours could, could be something that we could con consistently get, like just by looking. Yeah. But it seems like it, like looking oh, at all easy. our mistakes, like easy. even if we're unlucky with maps or something, like right. sub two hours, we should do easy without making all these mistakes. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, and then then you just go from there. So yeah, I, I think that's. No problem whatsoever. What's the record? With our eight-man group, I want to say the fastest we did normal was like 46 minutes. But that was eight people. 
And then our hell time was two hours and three minutes. So like normal takes up a majority of the time. You know, normal normal is a very like time intensive thing because you have to get all everybody kind of going. Once you get everybody going and you get all of the experience and that then you get them their levels and their skills and all of this stuff, then like nightmare and hell, you can start really doing a lot, you know. But obviously still having a good teleporting sorceress because she's gonna be fragile and it's difficult is gonna be tough. And then in hell um, it'll be a little bit harder as well because the sorceress isn't going to have... She'll have more levels, but she won't have, like, battle orders and stuff, right? So it'll still be pretty tricky. So you might do a lot of move around together. Thank you, Yvonne, for the host. So um, questions on that? Or anything from today? I think, I think I know everything now. Perfect. I think we need practice now. Yeah, now, now we have to practice this stuff. Yeah, that sounds right. But uh, uh, as you have the, the on the how difficulty, we should move with a group, not as just if the source fails to tell it, just restart the teller or you know quit the game and go again. On the what? On hell. On hell. So, I, you know, I think you guys should move as a group a lot, but obviously having a source teleport ahead will still be helpful. So, like, you can have the sorceress teleport ahead in hell, and then she just drops a TP every time she gets to a new area. And then when she gets to that new area, she drops the TP, and she goes, you know, okay. And then if she dies, let's say she drops a TP at the start of the underground passage, and she dies halfway through the underground passage. She quits the game, she comes back in, she starts teleporting it again, right? Like, you're, you're gonna, you know, probably want to use her for still getting through all those things, and she's a fast way to get through a lot. But there might be some places that are just, like, super hard, right? Like, it's just gonna be difficult sometimes to get through the Claw Viper Temple and things. And so, at those points, you can just say, hey, can we have the whole team come in? And then you can run together as a team. And you're getting experience, and you're getting, you know, so it's not awful for you guys to like move as a team in a lot of that regard but you can just skip through a lot of basic areas with a sorceress teleporting right i think that after we figure out normal because right now like improving normal it's kind of like at the biggest gain right yeah like you just said like the, the most time we're gonna spend in normal anyway yep so kind of like a shaving off you know, like a, this time in normal seems like a perfect strategy yep. but then we'll have to figure out like do we are we actually moving optimally through, through nightmare and nightmare probably is going to be easier to hell yeah hell so it's, it's also nice that I, I yeah like we can get stuck a lot right oh yeah you can very easily get stuck in hell and stuff so you know but this is where like you know you're about to start respecting I think, the conviction I think and blizzard would... and things so that's going to be really strong you know I think it would also be nice if I had some helmet and gloves and boots maybe with health. Yep. And this is stuff that or, you want to shout at and people need to talk about as well. So somebody says, hey, I found some gloves with resistances. Hey, I found some boots with life and fat, right? Whatever it is, whenever you find that gear, shout it out. Because if you have something that could be nicer for your sorceress, it needs to be on your sorceress. Any FCR gear, any plus to life gear, any plus to res gear, all of that should be on your sorceress first. Because your druid, your assassin, they don't need it. They murder everything. And they're not teleporting through dangerous areas, right? So, like, you know, if you have chance to cast Frost Nova gloves or something, like, give those to your sorceress because that's going to be super useful for her. And so you, you just want to be looking at that stuff and, and giving that stuff over to her um, constantly to try and make it easier for her to, to teleport because it's it's very difficult. So, yeah, like that amulet right, so you have is like amazing. I, I kept, I Are kept you an kidding? Amulet. Yeah, oh, my right? God. That should be on your sorceress, right? guaranteed. Um, what gloves do you have, Carol? Maybe they have a good amulet for you on the ground. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. 
Yeah, so Carol, those gloves should be on the Sorceress as well. Chance for Frost Nova, because she's going to get hit a lot, and that's going to help stop her from, like, getting blasted and dying. So, like, those gloves would also mm, be good on her, part. right? So, like, these sorts of things are just, you know, small things, but, like, that really helps speed up everything and save your main character that you need alive, right, who's doing a lot of the teleporting. So... Yep, so you kind of play Sorceress gets first dibs on everything is essentially how it goes. And then after that, it's probably in this team like Assassin, Druid, Paladin in that order. Um, with the exception of all Diamonds and Paladin Shields obviously going to the Paladin. But... <laughs> so, yep. So that should be that. But, uh, yeah, I think at this point it's just like, you know, practicing more of this. That was a, a really good first run. Obviously, there's a lot of small things, but, you know, playing through it is going to get you all that experience. So. Okay, so thank you very much for that. And let's see where can we, where can we take it. And, uh, and let's, put it like, we'll... You know, and we'll reach out to you know, we'll reach out when once we get some kind of like because we have to get this speed down. Yeah. Like under two hours. Like it's kind of like a normal run. Yep. And then I was just, just I was just thinking maybe we can just uh, get ourselves through no, uh, through through nightmare since it's our server we can just save these characters like you know back them up and just right. you know like and just practice hell and see and you know like and just. Just kind of like a, uh, get them out from backup and just uh, try to do the stuff together or something like this. Like, but I don't know where do we need help right now. Like, uh, aside of because like we just have to go to normal first and then we'll yeah. see yeah. Uh, what's what, what's happening next. Exactly. And there you go, David. You're doing a lot better with the teleporting now as well. So that's good. He's showing off. <laughs> also, you went you went past the waypoint, David. I I I, I learned it today so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that'll be um the one of the big things is keeping your eye out while you're doing all of that stuff right that's a huge thing while you're in the middle of these teleports keeping your eyes on the map for visual for waypoints for you know tile breakoffs all those things that's one of the hardest things to do um so like right now you need to immediately go top left out of this tile you always go top left you don't even need to go into that area that map okay, only exits up to right. the top left the one that has this little like short entrance piece that map uh, okay. always exits top left so like things like that you'll start to learn as you teleport more and stuff and then you want to immediately kick back right as soon as you can and yep so you can do all of that stuff in the same teleport, and there you go. You got to River of Flame really quickly. Perfect. So, yeah. So that stuff will be really helpful for you. And then, yep, you just blast through everything. And especially when you have 63 FCR like you do now, you're just going to murder everything, right? Like, you, very few things are going to stop you at this point. So... Yeah, so nice. practice up and uh, keep in touch, and then we'll figure out something again for next time yep awesome thank you very much thank for, for sure. something yeah. that was great later. good job everybody thanks see ya see guys. thanks bye bye, bye.